Check one, two. Hello. Happy Sunday. Let's waste no time and jump right into it. In today's stream, I will be replaying all of the House of Hope content because we got about halfway through it last stream and then I was having network problems. And then I tried it again and we got a little further and then I gave up. So basically just going to redo that entire quest. So I have one session where that all that content is nicely kept and organized. And that's going to be it for today. I have some sponsored video work that I have to do later today, so I can't stream that long today. So, let's stop at the tavern. Appreciate you guys being here. And let's jump right into it. Cool. And as always, I am live on Twitch and YouTube at the same time, so feel free to watch on your preferred live streaming platform. Hello, TARDIS, Teresa, EP. Renicillin. Let's go. Hello, Chaos Burge over on Twitch. Tardis over on Twitch and YouTube, a real champion of the channel. True supporter. Okay, let's see if I can find the load point that was right before I went into the House of Hope. So that way, I don't have to redo my inventory. Hmm. This inventory looks like it hasn't been organized. <laughs> Let me try a different load point. Let's go to... Let's try... I want to make sure that I redo the puzzle, the ritual. Those of you guys that are watching the entire quest can see that part. All right, yeah, let's do the Devil's Feet. Perfect. Whoa, what happened to the sound there? We dropped a pitch. Hello, Mike Chadburn. Good evening to you. Good afternoon to those of you guys on the East Coast. And good morning to those of you guys on the West Coast. As it still should be morning time. 43% of my viewers are from the United States. And then the UK is in second place with really only like 6 or 7% or something like that. I mean, that makes sense because the USA has 370 million people. Hello, DRP. Bushwhacker. B Bushwhacker. <laughs> Bushwhacker. Now oh, that name can be taken several different ways, but I respect it. Hello, Odessa. Happy Sunday. Nightmare. Good to see you, Craig. Let's get going. So yeah, that's what we're going to do today. Okay. Find the Diabolist, Helsus. Your gear, the Orthon, we saved in the Gauntlet of Shar visited our camp and told us to look for a Diabolist called Helsic in the Lower City. She can help us get to Raphael's lavish abode in the Hells, the House of Hope. So this is the shop that Helsic currently owns, that I thought was Cazador's mansion in the trailer that we saw for it before the game released. And last time I wasn't able to pass the dialogue check that she gives you let's see if we can pass it this time i want to have a word i welcome thee to the devil's fee where every hellish curio's a rarity so merry be and shop with glee hold on one second folks tardis is complaining because he doesn't have power right now You guys can thank TARDIS right now for the pause in the stream. Thanks, TARDIS. 
<laughs> Shit, how do I make you? I don't even... Why does it take me so long to make someone a mod? I, I, I just click on your name. It should just allow me to do it. Add guest. Here we go. All right, there you go. All right, Tardis has resumed his position of great power in the wolf pack. Ever met an Orthon? I have. He told me you're a Diabolist. Truly? That's remarkable. I like to deal with remarkable people. Very well. You stand before Mammon's Picklock, latchkeeper of the Nine Hells. My business is not information, nor hellish curios. Not really. God, my party looks I so badass. I break people into the hells. That's my thing. Raphael told me the crown of Carsus was stolen from Mephistopheles. Were you involved with that? Lord Gortash wanted to steal something from Mephistopheles. So I punched a portal into the Archdevil's dusty vaults. And then I... Oh, gosh... My fickle memory fails. If only something would jog it. Oh, this is like dealing with TARDIS right now. The dude wants me to pay him for his mod work. <laughs> you know what I mean, TARDIS? Payment is being allowed in my presence. Is me acknowledging you as a human being. For cripes sakes, now get to work. I mean, I suppose that'll do. Stingy bastard. <laughs> Gortash stole the crown of Carsus. Pissed off Mephistopheles, but rather intrigued another devil by the name Raphael. Hmm. His house of hope is furnished with a great deal of treasures, many related to Carsus. But alas, he lacks the crown itself. He's rather ambitious. One can only wonder what he has planned for the crown. The answers to that can probably be found within his house. Okay. Perhaps it's time we paid Raphael a visit. We just look so bad. We look so much cooler on the evil run. You guys want to know what happened to Tardis if he called me a stingy bastard? I can't even say on stream because that would be age restricted. Tardis, think of the $2 super chat. You're damn straight. You're going to pay me. Thank you. Thank you for your monthly mod fee. Hello, Hokai. Can you help me break into the House of Hope, Helsick? What a fascinating proposition. Hey, Jack. Ludicrous, of course, but fascinating nevertheless. Very well. If you wish to die in Avernus, that's your business. Mine is charging you for it. Of course, such a task will require quite the substantial donation to Lord Mammon's coffers. 20 k gold. Such a task will be tantamount to suicide. Do not even entertain it. I like the Emperor's voice acting so much. Yeah, we have a pay to win system on my channel. If you want to rank up, you got to pay money. If you want to be a mod, you got to pay me. Okay. If you want to be a top tier mod, minimum $500 a month. All right, so last time, I think I did the Warlock Persuasion check. Let's do the Persuasion check this time. I don't feel like having to look for the ingredients again or having to pickpocket her. Wave the fee and I'll add one of Raphael's artifacts to your collection. Oh, that means we have to give her the... We don't have to give her it, actually. We don't have to give nothing. We do what we want. <laughs> nice, Odessa. You put me in a difficult position, mortal. You are almost certain to fail. Almost. And so, there is a chance you might succeed. Fine. I'd like to be able to carry all of my precious stock without the need of a team of oxen. There are gauntlets of hill giant strength within the House of Hope. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Free passage, and you fetch them for me. Yeah, sure. Sure thing. Deal? <laughs> Yeah, I'll do that. I'll get right on that. Let's do it. Allow me to outline how this is going to work. Okay. First, you were never here. We never spoke. 
Second, you will perform the rites yourself. I want absolute deniability. Here's the grimoire and necessary components. Oh, take this key, too. It unlocks the ritual room upstairs. There's a blood circle already drawn. Don't ask whose blood. Along with the grimoire and components, Helsick hands you a note containing precise instructions for performing the ritual. Finally, you were never here. That is of utmost import to remember. Now be, now gone. be gone. Yes, ma'am, but actually while I'm here, let me see if you want to trade a little bit. My most perceptive, prospective customer. You got anything Welcome good in here, now. madame? Ooh, we'll take those. How much? I got 17k gold. Yeah, this kind of sucks because I didn't... Okay. Um, Darkness. I don't think I need that. Do I? Scroll of Fear. We'll take the Scroll of Darkness. You never know. It can be a get out of jail card sometimes. The Shapeshifter Hat. The Cloak of the Weave. You gain a plus one bonus to spell save DC and spell attack rolls. Gain eight temporary hit points after casting a spell while in melee. I wonder if I should buy that for my Dragonborn. Absorb elemental damage once per short rest. Take half the damage from the next elemental attack targeting you and deal an additional 1d6 of that element type back. Targeting foes and allies can target an additional creature. We'll sing a song of Baldur's Gate. I really hope that Larian Studios wins, you know, at least one of the audio awards in the December game of the year awards. The game awards in December with Jeff Keighley. I admit, there's a lot of games that had good soundtracks this year, but man, the Raphael boss battle music that you guys are going to hear today if we don't have any network problems is uh, got to be one of the greatest gaming moments in history, and 90% of that is due to the soundtrack. Pal Orange Die. That's kind of funny. I almost want to keep it. Now you've seen... The Devil's Fee. Oh my god, that is a beautiful cloak. I really, really like this, you know, rather mundane look that my Dragonborn has right now. That is just, I just love, I love dull colors. Like tan, gray, black, things like that, you know what I mean? On the other hand, you got Shadowheart over here. Looks like she's about to go to a rave. Well that ends. Yeah, not as bad as I could have. All right, well, this is my last chance. Let me, you know what I do want to see if we have... Or we get stuck in the House of Hope. I have three invisibility potions. Do we have any potions of speed? I don't have any potions of speed. That might actually be kind of rough. Um, I need hyena ears. I wonder if there's a shop. Is there a shop in Baldur's Gate where you can buy potions of speed? Does anybody know? Andrew, thank you so much for the Prime sub. I appreciate that. Good evening, Hakai over in the YouTube chat. This pay to mod concept is in line with the evil RP for this stream. Hello, yellow. You know, I'm going to check. Let me just check real fast. Let's port to the lower city central wall. The blade. I don't think that was it. Let me run back in the bone cloak apothecaries real fast. That's such a beautiful city, isn't it? I mean, actually, the area, like, the biome that Baldur's Gate is in, you know, this dusty, sandy, almost deserty, rocky environment, is, like, one of my least favorite environments for a setting in a video game. No time to rest. Which is why I was kind of hoping that Dragon's Dogma 2 would have changed up the setting a little bit. But with that said, Larian made everything quite, quite appeasing to the eye. I think, you know, things like Sorcerer's Sundries and stuff really stand out among the dull colors. What's it now? Go on then. I'm looking for a potion of speed. Potion of flying? She ain't gonna sell that. I don't think Sorcerer Sundry sells it either. Um Or I gotta get hyena ears. I don't I really don't know where you get those. I'm not like a huge 
potion user, but now that I'm on tactician, some of these fights scare me a little bit, like Raphael's boss battle. You know what? We're just going to have to do it without a potion of speed. It is what it is. Could try Beehive General Goods. I don't know if I've ever... Sh well, let me go there. I don't even know if I... Is there even a shopkeeper for that shop? I don't think there is. Go take a look. Carly, Carly. Hello, happy Sunday. Rivington above the Harper shop. Okay, I could check that. Let me just check this Beehive General Goods. I feel like it's an abandoned shop. Or one of the murder targets was... Oh no, it's not. Okay, nice. What are you after, friend? Got grub, potions, a few nice vintages? Best stock up now before someone clears me out to fill their larder. Let's see what you have, friend. Speak friend and enter. Ooh, I'll take those. Absolutely. Potion of flying. No potions of speed. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. I actually need these two. I forgot. Running kind of low. We'll sing a song of Baldur's Gate. Stuffed Owlbear toy. Come on, Larian. You got to sell these. Anything? You know, if Larian wasn't ahead. bound by the Wizards of the Coast D&D license, they would be able to do so much more with, like, their merch shop and everything. That everything that they sell, you know, has to be approved and, you know, a contract slash license needs to be agreed upon with Wizards of the Coast. Which is why you don't see, like, Larian selling, like, a million shirts and things of that nature. Because they could make a lot of money off of that. Surprised that they don't strike a deal, though. Like, give us a, give us a Baldur's Gate sh shop. I mean, I would buy a stuffed owlbear. I would buy, I would buy everything. Waiting for BG3 merch to take all your money. Potion shop on the bridge. Bubble at the circus. Ooh. Is that kobold alive right now? I don't know what happened at my circus. Can't remember. Okay, let's go to the potion shop. Let me hit F5 so I don't have to redo all this. Forgot about this guy. They're not coming up. Seems like a good moment to talk. Chuck Norris. Hello again, sir. What can I do for you? Everything alchemical from potions to poisons. Just do make sure you read the label. Really now, buddy? This guy doesn't have potions of speed either. I'm, he might have hyena ears, though. What do hyena ears, what do hyena ears look like? We got silk glands, got bone cap, toadstool, tongue of madness, corpse rose. Can make some nice poisons out of this stuff. Venomous fang. Zorn Scales, Wolf's Candle, that's pretty cool. Frosted Ear. Be sure. Hello again, sir. Everything alchemical from potions to poisons. Just do make sure you read the label before coughing. 
Sometimes I'm bad at finding things, so I gotta triple check and make sure it's not in here. I don't see that anywhere. Let's go to... Let's go to the kobold. In the surface. Really about the music being really good. I've not finished Divinity 2 yet. I still go back only for the music. Divinity Original Sin 2 is one of my favorite soundtracks. Honestly, I think overall the DOS 2 soundtrack is better in my opinion, but Baldur's Gate 3 has more one-hit wonders. Hello, Merity. Mike, what's up? Nope, you didn't miss anything. I'm redoing that entire quest because we're having network problems in the last stream, as you guys are aware. So we're going to start the House of Hope over and keep it all in one simple organized stream instead of three different 15-minute streams. Hey, where the hell is the kobold? Hold on, did I miss him? I thought he was over. Oh, here he is. I like this guy, little popper. He's funny, isn't he? Clown man is dead. Oh well. Want a treat, oh? Yes! I has lost. I'm missing one dust. more dribbles the clown yes, part. For you. Then I can turn that quest in too. Oh, there's the hyena ear. He only sells one? What a ripoff! Hey, we got a potion of speed. Let's go. That's all I needed was one. I can't believe he only sells one hyena here. What kind of shop is this guy running? Oh, we need ashes of hyena here. That's why the thing looks different. Trito. Didn't even realize yes. that. Ashes. I where would you get ashes of hyena here? I don't see it anywhere here. I don't see that. Okay, let's go into the House of Hope. I bought one potion of speed. That's probably good enough. What is this? Arcane Cultivation. Gain an additional level 4 spell slot. We'll take it. And I'll forget to use it. Bye bye now. Aha! You can make it! Cool! Thanks! And I got three of them out of that. That's how little I've been using the potion crafting. Okay, now I have two potions of speed. Perfect. Alright, let's go to... The lower city central wall. Um... Yeah, we could we could go to bed and come back and have that vendor. We could take like one night's rest. Let's see let's see if that works. I wonder like how much you can actually do that. Genuine out of genuine curiosity. Let's do one long rest though. We're gonna do a partial rest. Hello, Razam. Throw the ear in the hookah back at the end. Smoke it up. Every sale, Papa Sati. Trito. Yes, I has lots of stuff just for you. Doesn't look like he has a hyena ear again. Okay, fair enough. It might take like a few long rests or there might be some system going on in the background that doesn't let you just keep buying the same thing. Let's go to the House of Hope. I think we're good. I really just wanted one potion of speed. That was the main thing. We're good now. Oh, she sells another potion of speed though. I'll take that. Okay. Am I blind? Is there a hyena ear in here? I'm not seeing it. Nope, so glad.
How many hours do I have? It's hard to say because a lot of my in-game time is working on videos and sitting in the character creation screen and filming things and looking at things. Um, I had about 1,100 maybe in early access and for the full game, I don't know, this is the end of my second playthrough. I'm not really someone that, you know, plays games for 15 hours a day. <laughs> I don't think I ever will be. And uh, the BG3 videos were doing pretty well, so I kind of just, uh, I didn't feel like I had to grind it out for an unreasonable, unenjoyable amount. So I am at the end of my second playthrough on the full game. So I don't know, 1500 total maybe? Which is a lot, but if you take early access out of it, I don't really have that much in the full game. These things have stayed interesting. At the ready. Much more than the average player, but not as much as some of you guys might think. Which act is my favorite? What's up, Spiraling? Um, act 3. But it's hard for me to say, though, because I've played Act 1 so many times. So if I was a fresh player playing this game for the first time, and I didn't play Act 1 over a thousand hours in early access, I don't know if it would be Act 1 or Act 3, but it's one of those two. I think Act 3. Act 3 has some of my favorite quests. Like the Temple of Baal. And just being able to return to the city of Baldur's Gate is really special. Despite everything in this 2023 modern day graphics setting that Larian has given us, so. Despite the problems that came with Act 3, it's still probably my favorite. That you reconsider this course of action. Whatever you expect to gain from the Hells is not worth the risk of traveling there uninvited. How about you guys? What's your guys' favorite act? I thought Act 2 was tremendous, um, but just the setting, everything being dark, I like uh, I like a little bit of light sometimes when I'm exploring in a fantasy land, so Act 2 doesn't win. Great act, though. But a little depressing. Act one is flawless. Well, that's what happens after a game's in early access for three years. Easy. I just can't remember what the feeling of playing Act One for the first time was, especially in the unfinished state that it launched in. When early access first came out, Act One was also quite buggy. It was it was good. It, was, it made all of us very excited, but. It's not the Act 1 that it is now. Mask of Soul Percent. You guys remember when the game first launched, we only had access to five or six classes. Gain a plus two bonus to attack rolls, initiative rolls, and perception checks. Absolutely taking that. With a character running sharpshooter. A character running sharpshooter or great weapon master. That's really good. Um, I could also give that to Minthara. Who I currently have the ballist armor on. I gotta make sure that I remember that I have that on because I'm sacrificing a lot of my AC by wearing light armor um, to get that vulnerability status on enemies that are close to her. I have a lot on my mind and, well, in it. Don't linger. Damn it, Astarian, don't move the damn chest over the ritual? Are you crazy? All right. Should be easy. Such a cool little shop that Helsick has here. No, my limited lock picks. Good evening, script. How are you? Alex is being naughty. Act two for you? Okay, okay. A lot of people like Act two a lot. And uh, Trust don't get me wrong, it's an amazing act. I just need a little bit of happiness in my fantasy games sometimes. 
but the city of Baldur's Gate gives that to me and also the woodland areas in Act 1 and the un the Underdark's very dark but it's such a beautiful place too Act 2 is not really a beautiful place the dark grim and horrible place a perfect addition to the game though because you need that contrast You need that contrast and settings to make Act 3 that much more exciting when you get to it. And you actually get to see light for the first time in like 30 hours. Makes you really excited. Okay, so I did do this a little bit differently this time. Elsuk the Diabolist said she will help us reach the House of Hope if we can steal a powerful artifact for her while we're there. Gauntlets of Hill Giant Strength. We agreed to the deal. She gave us a note with precise instructions. We should follow them in the ritual room upstairs. So I'm curious if these instructions that she gave us are different than the instructions that I used on my attempt last stream, which were a little bit more, um, a little bit tougher to uh, to solve. Not really tough, but I think tougher than the instructions that she's given us right now. So let's see what we have. Opening a Hellgate. Oh yeah, this is way more precise. So that that's why if you don't get if you don't get this note from her or pickpocket it from her. It's more challenging to figure out the ritual because it speaks in like, you know, metaphors and phrases and unclear language, figurative language. Place the skull on the star point near the altar, coin of mammon next to the point on the right, counterclockwise, skip a point, place the diamond, the incense on the point that follows, and then the marble in the middle. Okay, so let's, let me give all this, let me give this to Minthara. Um, can you do that? Yes, you can. <laughs> For a minute, I wasn't sure what game I was playing, if you could transfer stuff like that. All right, so let's take all these. Move those down a little bit. Take all those. Perfect. So. At your command. Come here, Milfara. Starion, get the hell out of the way, dude. The hell are you doing? Just because you won the freaking supporting performer of the year doesn't mean you Reporting. can get up in my face like that, brother. You know what I'm saying? game is so good isn't it it better it better steamroll the game awards in december better sweep that chlor that floor clean that chlor fleen hello astaton the house of hope welcome hello thalen happy sunday You know what's cool is the music playing in the background right now is the same song as the boss fight without the lyrics. Genius move out of Bobby there. They give you like a little hint of it so you're already familiar with the rhythm and the melody. And then when the vocals come in, you guys ever listen to a song for the first time and it doesn't really catch with you? Like it's not that good, but then you listen to it again. And then on the fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth time that you listen to it, it's like one of your favorite songs of all time. That's what Bobby did here. It was a great move. He's a true musician composer. Okay, we have entered Raphael's House of Hope. We should look around for an Orphic Hammer. Let's go ahead and do a little bit of... What to do? Summoning. I should have brought a body with me so I could have animated the dead. Maybe I should go kill someone in the city of Baldur's Gate. Do we have a target? You're yeah. illicit. It cannot reach you. 
I gotta take advantage of the oath breaker. Oh damn, the whole party came? Who can I kill in this city? I need to assassinate somebody. Are any cute, innocent families living in the city walls? Does anybody know? Who killed Jahira's kids? <laughs> oh, you guys wouldn't be able to handle that though. Would you now? I don't think you would. Maybe there's somebody at the park that I can murder. There's an entire scene there, though. Hold on. If I go to... Let me go to Rivington. There's a lot of innocent, cute people living in that town. Hello, Ellie. Happy Sunday. Assassinate TARDIS? Oh, trust me. He was in the game. <laughs> I'd use every single spell slot that I have on that dude. And he'd die on the first attempt, and I'd keep casting. Cool. Queen Tiamat. All bow to the queen. Wait, he just scared the. What, what country is it? Father's Day in right now? Father's Day on November twelfth. Who's next? Advancing. Or who wants to die is what I want to figure out. Somebody's getting assassinated in this town. Somebody's getting... Oh, I could use Minsk's body, actually. Now that I think of it. Oh, that would be so evil. Let's turn Minsk into a zombie. Ho, 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 ho. Oh, damn it. He's not at this camp. Hello, Michael. I think I could turn Minsk into a zombie. Thank you, Arthur. Thanks for watching. I'm doing House of Hope before Orin and Gortash. Yes. You recommend that I do it the other way? Can you kill Yenna? Yenna is currently a prisoner of Orin. So I cannot do that. Otherwise, I would. Absolutely. I don't see anything wrong with that. You would have gone to the graveyard. Oh, that's a 200 IQ play, Mike. We don't do those around here. In your country, Queen? Well, happy Father's Day. Okay? Happy Father's Day. Moving ahead. Awaiting orders. The path is set. I want to animate Minsk, because it's funny. It should let me do it. I'm assuming that it will. Can't give up now. Still haven't done House of Hope yet. Um, are you asking if I ever done it before? Sorry, I keep hitting my mic and I know it makes a sound in some of you guys' ears. I gotta figure out how to fix that up. Angie, hello. I think, um, I think you, you used to get five or six summons, Ellie, so they must have nerfed it with one of the patches. I didn't have the Necromancy of Thea on my first run because that area was really buggy on the review copy of the game. So I didn't get to use that spell on my first run. But yeah, I heard a couple people say that they give you less now, which is probably a good move out of Larian, considering what you're about to see me do here in the House of Hope. Hey, you guys ready for this? It was always Minsk's dream to be turned into a zombie. In the House of Hope, one of the most evil places. All of the planes of existence and all of the realm space. Minsk will be turned into a zombie in the hells. And you guys will like every second of it. What? what kind of sick joke is this, Larian?
Oh my god. I mean, I've already gone through this much work. We're gonna get we're gonna get ourselves a damn zombie now. I'm gonna leave Minsk's body down there. Can't believe he did that to me. All right, let's go to. I got a better idea. We're gonna take Mike's advice. We're gonna go to the graveyard. Although, yeah, we're gonna go to the graveyard. Down, down, by the river. You don't have to be human to animate dead. You gotta be a living, living humanoid creature who recently died and whose corpse isn't completely destroyed. I don't know why Larian doesn't want me to turn Minsk into a zombie. I feel like that player agency should exist in this game. Well, this guy looks like he wants to get killed, actually. We're very close to the graveyard over here. Um, I think I'll just assassinate this guy. Really don't like his hat that much, you know what I mean? How you doing, buddy? Only got seven HP. You're not doing that good, are you? <laughs> do you get boo as a pet? Yes, you do. If you save mints, yes. I like Minthara's robes. Her cloak. Cover your eyes, boo! Used to be six? Yeah, that's what I thought. This house of hope, your tomb. Hey, Team Ray. Okay, let's actually begin the house of hope now. Intriguing. Are you sure you want to go to the House of Hope? Not entirely, but... So let me show you guys something here. I could also do this with my Cleric, who has an even more powerful version of this spell. Okay, now I have a zombie, and I'm also wearing... Oh, I must have taken off my... I had a... A circle of bones. Allied undead within 20 feet are resistant to bludgeoning. Holy crap, I should actually wear this just because I have all these ghouls. We'd have to take off our charisma plus two, though. It says allied undead, so all undead within 20 feet should be should get this resistance to physical damage. Very cool. Okay, and now the OP thing that I'm about to do Whatever it takes. is going to be, let's go ahead and cast Aid and watch this. Forty-seven HP on my regular zombie, and each of these ghouls here from the Necromancy of Thay spell have forty-five HP each. It's incredible, isn't it? Actually, incredible. Right. What now? Curiosity killed all the cats. It won't be so kind to you. As the woman speaks, you hear a distant rattle of chains, and she winces in pain. <sighs> the jailer will hear us. I shouldn't be talking to you. I must go. It's not kind to me. The figure flickers and starts to dim from view, but you sense she could be convinced to return. Ah, uh, yes, I gotta use Hero's Feast when I'm done uh, with this conversation. Who are you? The figure shimmers brightly. Your words seem to have piqued her curiosity. Who am I? Oh, that's my favorite question. I scream it into the dark while I sleep, and whisper it to my memories when I wake. I'm the thing that kills you, 
and the only reason you're alive. Made by a promise, and done by the truth. A handshake, a hug, the first beat of a newborn's heart. I am hope. What little is left of her. A guttering candle in a universe of night. I'm not much of a friend to anyone anymore. But I could use a friend myself. Do you want a friend to guide you through this madhouse? I hear the jailer. It hears me. It'll call Raphael, make every question count. Make some of them count twice. What is this place? Raphael's house of hope. But your question was hopeless. You already knew that. Don't waste any more words, or we'll both be sorry. The house is home to many things. Most will kill you. One can save you. The hammer, the hammer that breaks the chains, you must steal it. You hear a sound like the rattle of a chain, and an agonizing scream in your head as hope flickers from view momentarily. Shh. here is mad even you especially me and that makes them dangerous but it also makes them stupid i'll make you seem as ruined as the rest of the people here a simple glamour to make you a terrible wretch <laughs> now whisper your questions little wretch but really quiet and very clever concentrate I don't got to worry about spell slots in the House of Hope because there is a special faucet next to a half-naked incubus in one of the rooms that replenishes all your spell slots. Embody the silence of the slumbering worm. Actually, let's do charisma. I did that last time. Prepare to speak in your finest stage whisper. Hey, Dredge, how are you? Oh my god. How did I just... What? That's crazy. What did I roll? I wasn't even looking. I was looking at the chat. It hears your thoughts. It hears Hope's heart beating. The rattle of chains echoes louder from unseen places. And without a scream or oh, a sigh, damn. Hope disappears. Wow. Wow, this quest is a lot harder on your first run if you don't pass one of those checks. Um, I already know what to do though, so it's not a big deal, but... No time to rest. All right, let's do Hero's Feast. Oh yeah, um, we'll have to do Hero's Feast when I make it into the room with the faucet. Rest your weary soul. Come in from the cold. Hey, Minsk, how you doing, buddy? We'll come back for you later. Now, the Infernal Mason here actually offers a lot of lore behind Act 2 and Ketherick Thorm, so we're going to talk to him. Is Raphael any good in bed? Not sure. Probably, right? Another sorry soul come to wander these halls. What do you seek? But actually, you'll get your answer to your question here soon enough. <laughs> it's actually a pretty funny dialogue line. I'm looking for the Orphic Hammer skeleton. It is easy to look for a thing. It is impossible to take it. I cannot help you. This is not my home. Even if I can never leave. And what ties you to the House of Hope? I was an architect and I... A builder of tombs and temples. But mostly of towers. My proudest work 
reached for the stars and sought to dry Selena's tears. It was a monument to life and to virtue, and a happy home to my master for many years. And what went wrong? Deaths in the family. Happiness rarely lasts a lifetime. When tragedy came, my master fell into darkness and despair. He marshaled a great army to ruin the world and bring all into shadow. I could not let it happen. I sought out the devil, Raphael, and signed an infernal pact with him. He promised to destroy my master's army. And I promised him my soul in return. The devil was true to his word. Fiends slaughtered my master's forces, but he endured somehow and blighted the land. This is a familiar tale. Are you the architect of Moonrise Towers? You know my work. Oh, I am glad it endures. Perhaps you also have the misfortune of knowing my master, General Catherine Thorm. Your intervention pushed Catherick deeper into darkness. He became a chosen of Merkel. Then my pact, the loss of my eternal soul, it was all for nothing. Never make a deal with the devil. Let's go ahead and try two or three here, because I did one last time. Packs have great value, my dear friend. If yours did not, you were careless in making it. You may be right, but those who live in desperate times often reach for desperate solutions. Be sure not to do the same. Finish what business brought you here as quickly as possible, and then leave. Otherwise, you will be lost, like the rest of us. I would be hiring at least 10 lawyers from Baldur's Gate before I make a deal with the devil to go over that contract. At least 10 lawyers. This is one of my favorite rooms in all of the game. Menzo Baranzen, the jewel of the Underdark, lies beyond. Menzo Baranzen, city of spiders. Of course Raphael has dealings in the depths of the Underdark. Ikminthara has something to say about... Okay, I guess she doesn't, wow. Secrets of the port city of Luskan flutter behind this portal. Luskan. City of Sails, at the far north of the Sword Coast, in the shadow of the spine of the world. This portal leads directly to the frigid citadel of Mephista, nestled in the hells. Mephista, home to the archdevil Mephistopheles. Raphael's bold indeed if he ever visits uninvited. Waterdeep, the crown of the north. Waterdeep. The forces of the Absolute could threaten even the City of Splendors if they were to reach it. Neverwinter, Jewel of the North. Neverwinter, Jewel of the North. I wonder if the cult of the Absolute has influenced them as well. The splendid city of Atkatla hums beyond the portal. Atkatla, City of Coin, capital of Arm. They say the streets are paved with gold. I like my Dragonborn's voice. 
hold on with me for one second, y'all. We're going to take a look at the map real fast. So this room is all the portals that Raphael has access to to conduct his devilry deals throughout the Forgotten Realms. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. Where's my Larian folder? Maps. Pull up the high-res map real fast. I have it here somewhere. There it is. You guys with me? So the first city was the drow city of Menzo Bronzon, which is in the Underdark, so you currently can't see it on this modern-day map of Faerun. Menzo Bronzon is located... Here's Baldur's Gate right here. If we take a journey to the far north up here... Menzo Bronzon is located pretty much underneath the Dwarven city of Mithril Hall. Basically the drow capital city. The largest matriarchal society probably in all of Faerun. And then we also have Am to the south, or at Katla to the south, and the nation of Am, big part of Baldur's Gate too, was one of those portals. And if we just follow the coast to the north, we're going to pass all the other cities that were mentioned. The Baldur's Gate right here. And if we take the... Uh, the trade way, follow it north, we pass through Daggerford. This is actually where my my uh, my Let's Play series of this game, my Wood Elf was, I, I created a backstory, my Wood Elf was from the Misty Forest, very close to Daggerford. That's where his story began. We pass Daggerford, then we're at Waterdeep, the City of Splendors, which I believe is the largest city on the continent of Faerun, and it definitely deserves its own game. And if we keep going north, we pass the City of Jewels, Neverwinter. You guys know the Neverwinter MMO. Also several books based in Neverwinter. And of course, Neverwinter Nights. And then we have Luskin, City of Sails, and the southern end of the Spine of the World, which is where a lot of the Dristo Urden books take place in Ten Towns. And Dungeons and Dragons Dark Alliance, the rather shitty ARPG that came out a few years ago, takes place right in this area right here. And Raphael has access to all of those cities via that portal system. And it's pretty cool that Larian included that with all those little lore dumps that they gave us. You want a water deep game so bad? Oh, it'd be so cool. They could do something in the under mountain. There's so much content to be had in water deep. Drow are mostly matriarchal, I think. Yep, they are. Except the city of Shameth, which is actually probably the closest major drow city to Baldur's Gate. And that is the only patriarchy, patriarchal society in, uh, well, in drow yeah. culture, drow society. You don't want to be a man. In Menzo Bronza. It's a rough world, trust me. Alright, so let's come over here. One, two, three. One, two, three. Don't look at me. I'm I'm dancing. I love to dance. Thank you, A Dragon. One, two, three, one, two. Oh, the characters have their own hold on. Let me go back with Minthara real fast. Let's click on, on Menzo Bronza real fast. Nothing. Sense nothing beyond this portal to Menzo Baranzen. Home. Gone forever. <sighs> Forgive me. I did not expect to see my city's name today. Oh, that's pretty cool. I'm not going to go through every single one because that would take like 30 minutes, but I don't got time like that today. Never a dull moment. That's pretty cool. What's up for discussion? I ever live anywhere? You! You! Are you good? Yeah, sure. I try to be. You can't be. No one can. No matter how straight we stand, how much we smile. I tried. I tried. But I don't think I can ever be good. Instead, I'll be perfect. Ooh, we don't want that. Let's just do guidance. such a fun house yes it is uh, for those of you guys wondering 
why I'm talking to people that might not exist in your chat. I'm currently live on Twitch and YouTube at the same time. Gym director, hello. Careful. The jailer will swallow you all if you take another step. And you won't be able to see me while you're being digested. The cutscene wasn't supposed Before to trigger right away, was it? Maybe it was. My body is held in chains just beyond. Presumably you intend to chew through the chains. Oh yeah, it is. Cracking your teeth like eggshells. It will work. The hammer is the only thing capable of shattering the chains. Freeing you seems like it's more trouble than it's worth. Maybe that's why nobody has. I hoped you were different. Do, 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 do. Do, do. Any of you guys have problems selecting your characters? Like, I've had problems since day one of early access with the chain link system. I know you can use F1 through F4, but... Um, just to show you guys who weren't present for last stream, one way that you can actually... see where Hope is being held prisoner is through this little crevice right here. Don't want to be spotted down here, though. Two spectators, 176 HP on Tactician, and there's Hope right there. Looks very similar to Orpheus, who is being held captive in the Astral Prism. Man, so cool. Such a terrifying scene, though. I really want to... really want to use... I haven't done this in a long time. Do I have Basilisk Coil? Oh my god, I do. You guys ready for me to try something here? This actually might be really cool. A little bit worried that it's going to initiate combat, so let's hit F5. Hey, Shy. Artist was begging and crying at the start of the stream, so I gave him his mod status back. So, at least in the Underdark, I don't think I've done it even once this playthrough. You used to be able to throw Basilisk Oil at anybody that's petrified. I'm going to have to just get it in my inventory. I have no idea where it's at here. There it is. I think you threw it at them? Okay. This one appears to have won a taste of freedom. Uh, just before they died. Do not try at home, kids. Okay, well, this should be interesting. I'm going to go to the Archivist and speak to him without Hope telling me... Without Hope telling me who he's scared of, the Inquisitor. She dead. You like using F1, 2, 3, and 4. The problem with F1, 2, 3, and 4 is I have to look at my keyboard. I'm not used to, like, pressing those keys. I'd have to train myself. Oh, interesting. I don't remember this door being locked last time. With pleasure. Could just go around. Difficulty class 25. No problem. Oh, shit. How many thieves tools do I have? Seven? Yeah, we'll try it one more time. Accidentally hit F8 and then end up reloading. <laughs> Guess they've been petrified for a long time. Yeah, Hope does tell you, but... Hope doesn't like me right now. Didn't play out that way. Okay. Still breathing, despite everything. Which is why I'm curious what this dialogue scene is going to be like coming up. Uh, my blood! It's burning! Uh, sizzling! Do you feel it? Stop complaining. God, so annoying. 
Hey, do I plan on playing Rogue Trader? Yes. How much I stream that game, I'm not entirely sure, but I will be playing it. Some games are more stream friendly than others, and uh, Owlcat games, I don't really enjoy streaming that much because there is just a shit ton of reading and mechanics and dialogue, and it's just, it's a tough game to stream. They're eating me from the inside. Perhaps. Not to mention the visual experience usually isn't as exciting either for viewers. I'll probably stream it. I'm going to give it a try for streams for a little while, but I don't know if I'll do an entire playthrough. We'll see. The spilt wine is laced with the perfume of an exquisite poison. An unexpected treat. Over here! Hello again, little mice. The price for speaking is steep, but I must give warning. Your prize is just ahead in the archive, but you can't take it yet. And even if you could, you mustn't. Trigger the alarm. And Raphael will come swooping home on wings of malice to rip out your soul. In this house, thieves are melted like butter and spread onto toast. Shh. I'm doing it again. I'm doing it again. I need you to stay calm, Hope, and guide me. I can. I shall. I can. I shall. Archivist is the key, but he's as stubborn as a king and as serious as a heart attack. Exploit his fiddling weakness and make him grovel! Oh no. They hear me. You guys like Hope's character? Speak quickly, speak softly. You know how this goes. Concentrate on speaking softly and without emotion. Uh, yes, I did, Jack. Why would you say that out of curiosity? You study your mind. Why would you ask me that? Your questions. Is there anyone else I should be aware of in the archive? Sister, my sister! What have you done? Sold me for soul scraps, torment me for fun. Dearest sister Carilla is in there too. Pretending to browse the collection, acting all nonchalant. She's up to something. She won't let me escape. Not never, ever, never, ever. Imagine BG1 and 2 redone. Yeah, in this engine. Oh my god. Imagine being able to like zoom down to like the third person view in BG1 and 2 with 2023 graphics. That would be insane. Sounds like we'll have more luck with the archivist. He fears authority figures. Perhaps his teacher took a strap to him and left a deep impression at an early age. There's one regular visitor that he particularly fears. She is... Shh. A crack like breaking bone. Hope winces. What does the archivist fear, Hope? I need a name. Aurelius Receptor. Receptor. A High Inquisitor of Zariel. Officially entitled to audit Raphael's collection. Her true form is so gargantuan and mind scarring to behold that she takes on many guises when she visits. Play your part well, and you can be one of those blasphemous guises. Nice. Bit of dialogue and complex mechanics in this game, too. Um, yeah, but this game is a visual masterpiece, and it's highly entertaining from a viewer's perspective, um, which is why this game is, like, going to be 50 times more popular than Rogue Trader will be. It has nothing to do with my personal feelings on a Pathfinder game or Rogue Trader. I'll play those games offline and enjoy the crap out of them if I have time. But from a streamer's perspective, having to read through 14 pages of dialogue and also trying to learn complex, complex mechanics while I'm multitasking to a stream of... When I stream Rogue Trader for the first time, they'll probably be 500 plus or something like that. Is, a, is quite a task. It's quite exhausting. It's very hard. It's very difficult to enjoy what you're doing. 
has nothing to do with personal enjoyment or my personal feelings on how a game is played. Some games are more stream friendly, some games aren't. That's just how it is. It doesn't mean one game is better than the other. No one back home will ever believe this. Is that blood? No, no one um, But with Rogue Trader, I'll probably play a lot before it actually comes out because they'll be giving me a review copy. I'm almost certain of it. So on day one, I'll probably be able to stream it and enjoy it a little bit more because I already have a uh, foundation of knowledge on the mechanics and everything. The books. I comb each and every line for falsehoods and purge them pure. Archivist, without delay, move some of the contracts and treasures to the main cache. We are excited about soon acquiring the Crown of Karsis and want certain things on display while the rest may be safely stored in the secret vault. What we want in the Archive are the Amulet of Greater Health and the Gauntlets of Hill Giant Strength, with a place reserved for the Crown. Artifacts in the Vault should be the Staff of Spell Power and Backup Gold Cash. As requested, I've kept a close eye on the infected adventurers who fell from the Nautiloid and survived. Impressive. They spent a while stumbling around like lost babies. Hey. Easily distracted ones at that. I wonder if it says that for every single play. It must say that for every player, right? This note isn't calling me out in particular, is it? But finally made it to Moonrise Towers. You should have seen the mess they made there. Pure delicious chaos. I want to know if this note is any different depending on how you play. Because everybody has to kill Catherick. There's no way around that. Everybody survives the Nautiloid ship. And every player, it probably, saying that easily distracted probably makes sense for any player playing a CRPG. So I wonder if there's any, like, uh, permutations to this letter. <laughs> they killed Cutheric. It was a hell of a show. I'm delighted I got a front row seat, and now they're in Worms Crossing. If the last few days are anything to go by, I'm expecting more blood, death, and chaos, which means they'll be running into you any day now. If anything changes, I'll keep you posted. Gorilla. Gorilla is the devil that works with... Or the fiend that works with Raphael. I'm assuming that letter's the same for everyone. These boots have seen everything. Let's talk to Corilla right now. I need a quick word. Can't resist the faintest hint of a temptation, can you? I suppose that makes two of us. I'm surprised you're bold enough to show your face here. Raphael might tear it clean off your skull. He's going to notice you nosing around his house. I hope you're ready to face a very angry devil. What are you doing here? Me? This is home base. I'm not even going to ask what you're doing here. Plausible deniability. Might want to steer clear of my sister Hope, though. She's mad as a March hare. If she'd just agreed to serve Raphael, he'd probably have released her a long time ago. As things stand, she's his favorite toy. We're all mad here. But hope in hell? Why? That's the definition of insanity. I don't trust her any more than I trust you, Carilla. I ought to start giving you more credit. You want my advice? Enjoy whatever life remains to you. When Raphael catches you, You'll never enjoy anything again? I'll make them perfect. Pages crisp with lines and letters. I'll make them beautiful for him. Okay, we're going to come back here. Flock to me, all who are burdened, and I will give you hope. For my house is yours, and the door is always open. The barren wastelands of the Nine Hells. Terrifying, right? And on... If it is for the best. No one stopped me yet. Time to press ahead. No, no. Sleep. Oh, so tired. 
Carilla's transcript of conversation between Raphael and her sister, Hope. So let's read this. Good morning, sweetling. How are you? What is that? This? Oh, nothing really. Just a little curiosity. Hope my tenacious petal clinging to the flower despite winter, nature, and all common sense. This is an Amwan dreamcatcher. No? No recognition? Well, all right. This tinkery feather device is a jar. A jar for dreams. Currently full to bursting. I don't mind telling you. S stop. Hmm, stop what, dear one? Jangling it like that. I'd like you to stop. You hear them then? The captured dreams of frightened children? The Amwans are clearly... Wait, how do you say that? The Am Amwans? This is reminding me of like in Pillars of Eternity, that race. The Amwas? Amawas? Am <laughs> Amwans were clever people, Hope. Their children slept like stones. No boogeymen or creepers invaded their imaginations in the tenebrous, teneb, ten, tenib, tenebrous dark. No, those figments went in here and they got to know one another. A social house for nightmares. These things go bump in the night, lie, live inside this dreamcatcher, and they are dying to meet you. Raphael, don't go! Serve me then! Damn your pride and serve me with your whole heart. With her eyes fixed on the dreamcatcher, then averting to his, Raphael is stunned to see her eyes narrow. No, 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 I... I won't do it. I see, hmm? How naughty of you. As Raphael and I left, I chose to linger and listen at my sister's closed door. She was alone with the dream catcher. I heard her breathing grow heavier, then sharp frozen silence, then hope began to scream. Sorry, I read that terribly. Guile, the face that masks a thousand lies. Away! This is Raphael's chamber pot! Are you its guardian? Its admirer, its protector! It is my one true beloved! Okay. Hellfire, the great gift of Mephistopheles. Should I touch the chamber pot? I like to watch the door to the boudoir. I like to see who goes in, who comes back out, and who never does. Does Raphael mind your watching his comings and goings? Why? It was his idea. Here I watch forever and forever. Oh, I can never join in, but I'll always look. Sick, Raphael. Do you know what goes on inside that room? <laughs> oh, I like to peep through the keyhole. There's so much to see. So much to see. I think this gnome wants to bang Raphael. These things have stayed Raphael ain't having that gnome life, though. See, can we do it? Oh my god! Holy crap, I bet you that is there another one that's gonna be 25? Whoa! Let's go! It's my first time in this room right here. 666 gold. This is my first time ever coming in this room. I thought it was gonna unlock uh the Mystic Force curtain, actually. In the Hell Dusk Helmet. You can see in magical and ordinary darkness up to a range of 40 feet. That would be a really nice helm to have in the House of Grief, Shadow Hearts quest. You cannot be blinded. Magical durability. The wielder has a plus two bonus to saving throws against spells. That's probably pretty good for a cleric who is using spirit guardians or call lightning or something, a concentration spell. 
Attackers can't land critical hits. You also get a mode Immolating Gaze. Sear and Frighten a target with nothing but your Glower. You deal an additional 2 to 16 fire damage against burning creatures. Let's see what this looks like. What am I wearing on Shadow right now? Of course, a wizard hat. I've been wearing this the entire time. Because she looks good. In a wizard hat. Oh crap, what did I just do? We can't we can't see it right now because we're wearing the uh, disguised clothes. I don't want to break that, but we'll see it soon. That's going to be pretty cool. Look at that thing. Holy crap. Oh my god. This is one of the coolest looking helms I think I've seen in this game. Hey Dark, how you doing? Who is this romance? I mean, the list is too long for me to start it would take take the rest of the stream for me to, to give you all those names. No one back home will ever believe that. You can obtain this info other ways besides reading minds. Yeah, it's crazy how many there's how many like diddle different scenarios that you can find yourself in in this game with all the different solutions. An amazing helmet. I can't wait to see it. Can't give up now. And the staff of spell power. What in Mephistopheles' name is that? Plus one bonus to spell save DC. Arcane battery, which I already have on my current staff. Weapon enchantment plus two. I mean, I guess it's all right. My staff is better though. No time to rest. Well, that's pretty cool. I'm happy that I got in here. The character with the highest arcana skill check in my group has a plus zero modifier. And we have returned back to the portal room, but we're going to go somewhere else. Kill me. I'm going to let the, uh, I'm going to let Twitch chat choose who I romance when I bang this incubus here in about T minus three minutes. Machia26, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime. I appreciate you very much. The Mind Flare? You want me to romance the Mind Flare? Not what I was talking about, but... I actually did try banging the Mind Flare, but I, that dialogue option didn't present itself. I think it's because I've treated him pretty poorly up to this point. But I'm not against it. I mean, you know, the more tentacles, the better, right? I'm not here to judge you guys. Sit off five. If I'm not mistaken, that letter remains the same. Okay, okay. A lost little mouse is running through the house. God bless. Close those eyes, buddy. Thief in the night. <laughs> so uncomfortable. And here to take. Why are you here? God, can you imagine walking into a room? Some dude sitting there with his legs open like that. Disgusting men. Oh, Raphael, you're looking very skimpy. Raphael? Ha! No. You will have a far crueler master than Raphael soon. But what inspired you <laughs> to pay him a visit? I seek the Orphic Hammer, and you can't stop me, Mr. Harlop. Hmm. Raphael, Dang, Raphael all but spent himself to get that hammer. And you want to take it off him? This is very naughty. Whatever are we to do? Why don't we play a game? You win, I give you everything you desire. <laughs> 
but you'll enjoy yourself more if you lose. And what's the game that you speak of, Incubus? It's a surprise. Off with your clothes. It's very veiny. All right, we're getting naked. Let's go, baby. Good you only live once in the hells, man. Thief. Good. Keep going like this. And you'll get to live. This reminds me of the time I went to Thailand. You'll be what? crying out my name soon. You what happens in Thailand? Stays in time. I am Harlep, Raphael's personal incubus. Glamoured and transfigured to look like him. All right. I'm a perfect copy. He only ever wants to sleep with himself. <laughs> What's better Hello, than fate. the devil you know? Eh? His devil you do. stare sees more than all of you. It sees potential. Dude's trying to stroke Before my dragonborn tail, isn't he? I want to make sure you're comfortable. Not gonna lie, the lady incubus Sometimes is pretty hot. When he's feeling adventurous god bless you know raphael what i'm saying will ask me to change into the archduchess raphael i can take her form if you choose a simple swap pales in comparison to what you are about to do for me all right twitch chat let the voting begin the romance is in your control sorry youtube chat i don't care about you guys anymore <laughs> just kidding there's no youtube integration unfortunately I can do an actual poll on YouTube, but it takes like, I have to go to the second screen, I have to bring it up, I have to type it in. Twenty-two percent says, I'll admit I have dreamed of lying with Raphael. Sixty percent wants the feminine form. All right, I'll give you guys ten more seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six. I kind of want to bang Raphael, you know what I mean? Five. Four, three, two, one. Don't you guys want to see my my Dragonborn bang Raphael? Come on, vote number one. Change your vote, damn it. Please? Don't sell your soul? Okay, I don't care about polls. Oh, have you? You know... You need not run away should you win. You can stay here if you wish. Twitch chat, you thought I was going to give you guys what you want. Are you kidding me? I love YouTube chat much better than you guys. Very well. I will be Raphael himself. Always wanted to bang Raphael, you know what I'm saying? Why not? On the bed. Lie back. Oh, God bless. What tail are we using today, Raphael? You know what I'm saying? What's gonna happen to me? I already told you. It's a surprise. Don't you like surprises? All right, fuck it. Why not? Leon and Raphael going to Pound Town. Shit happens, you know. Yep. Any thought of resistance or control is fading. You will obey, giving yourself body and mind to them. Okay. Starting to want the feminine form, but we're gonna go forward, okay? Um, um performance. Pretend to be helpless while preparing to fight back. Listen, I might not be gay, but if I was gay, I'd be one of the best gays out there. Trust me, all right? You retain a trace of free will, but it is one drop in the ocean of their desire. It will not last. Surrender your body. Wait, is it... What does fight your way out do? Is that like I'm trying... I wonder if Raphael might like that. Let's surrender, let's surrender our bodies to Raphael. Oh, great. Okay. 
Every kiss oh, we got two tails touching right now. Last goodbye. Every touch a lie of Give me a hickey love. on my scales. Devote yourself to pleasure eternal. Stay here with me. This can be forever. I mean, I'm, I, mean, I did it once. Nobody's saying I'm gonna. You know, I'm saying. You can have my body, Raphael, but not my mind. Ugh. You force your eyes open, drawing yourself back to reality. Oh, that's what I'm talking about, baby. Let's go. I can't wait to explore how you work. What gets you going? What makes you sweat? And every time I make love in your shape, you will know a shiver out of the blue, a tingle from beyond. You will know. Now, your reward for giving me such a present. I will tell you one and only one of Raphael's dirty secrets. Whisper it to me. What do you want to know? Is Raphael actually any good in bed? <laughs> no. Thank you, Tardis. Appreciate it. You didn't come all this way to ask that, did you? You wouldn't sell yourself so cheaply, I hope. A treasure like you deserves to wrap their hands around Raphael's mightiest rod. Say what? The Orphic Hammer. Raphael hides nothing from me, can deny me nothing, aside from what he keeps in his safe. The safe lingers behind the right-hand painting of Raphael. <laughs> he almost spends more time staring at those portraits than he does at me. Although I'd love to watch you struggle to open the safe without it, this key should help. You've labored enough, pet. Now, shall we bid one another goodbye? Thank you for you. I will. All right, get your hairy nipples out of here. For Christ's sake. You know, I had a threesome with drow siblings, banged Raphael, who turned into my own character. What's next? No one back home you know, ever at this that. point, might as well keep Let's it going. Move. You guys think I care? Running around naked in the house of hope. The actors have finally reached Baldur's Gate, so I can commence the next stage of my play. They have learned the Astral Prism secret, but I will tell them that I have the key, the Orphic Hammer. The only thing that can break the prince's chains. The hammer will be kept safely in the archive, protected by a password. What shall it be, perhaps? Give me my heart's desire. That'll help us in the archive. At this point, I might All as well right. go bang a bear, you know what I'm saying? Like, my, add it to the, add it to the resume. How's everybody doing? Apparently nobody else approved of what I just did. Our enemies oh, man, I everywhere. see the tar- the freaking. I gotta start- Why can't I target Minthara? There we go. Oh my god, everybody's... Wait, how did Shadowheart get up there? Yes. Oh, I thought the cutscene was about to trigger again. Oh, here they all come. Okay, great. Perfect. Alright, let's explore this room. Let's go ahead and get our spell slots back with Shadow first, so I don't forget that. Leon likes to get around. Is the faucets in the puzzle? Of course. Next, I Whatever comes, I'm ready. My eyes, 
What other buffs can I do right now? Still breathing, despite everything. <laughs> Armor of Agathus. Gain five temporary hit points and deal five cold damage. Honestly, I've been forgetting to use this. What if that replaces the, um... Oh shit, my character is still naked. I hate that it does that. You gotta go like this. What was the other ring that I was wearing? Apparently, I don't have a good ring for this character. All those are equipped. Gain advantage on insight checks. Just put on the mage hand ring for now, I guess. Then let's put on... Do, 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 do. Spell slot restoration. Agathus. And then let's go ahead and... Give myself fire resistance. Wonder. Hold on. Let's. I think I test. Let me try this now. Hold on. Oh my God! No way! Oh, it does replace it. I thought it wasn't replacing it at first. Okay. All right, beautiful. Um, since I'm running low on camp supplies, let's just go ahead and... Never have to worry about it ever again. Oh, okay, can't target. Oh my god, it's not doing it anymore. Now I don't have a level 6 spell slot. Oh, there we go. Okay. All right, that's good. All right, folks, let's head deeper into the House of Hope and grab the Orphic Hammer. We hit F5 real fast. Yep, I already have 8 active right now, which is why you see all of my summons having 45 plus HP, which is crazy. What I wouldn't give to have a pool like that in my Victorian mansion. Hey, Red, how you doing? Wolf has an incubus sugar daddy, true. Still alive, so that's progress. I'll be trying to... Well, she was watching the entire time. That's kind of uncomfortable. You guys ever had a gnome watch you while you bang an incubus? Can't say, uh, can't say I've ever had that happen before. Hey, Kiwi. You as well. Experiencing lag. Potion of angelic slumber. Drink to fall into a two-turn slumber. Unless interrupted, you gain the benefits of a long rest. Great potion. If you can use it in combat, it can be so, so powerful. You have to give up two rounds, though, of sleeping. Very well, then. 
Get going. Light on my feet. Please, please. Well, that was awkward. Oh yeah, I think I just gotten used to like the little lag stutters because I'm not even noticing it anymore. But yeah, I am getting that. I also turned on. Oh, why did that? Why did that come off? You gotta be kidding me! We're gonna leave that in quality. Oh, I do have S FSR off right now. I mean, I have a 4080 graphics card and a good processor, so I should be able to run all of. Let's just let's turn it all on. I think you can only do one. We'll do 2.0. And then we'll see if I get more lag. And if I do, then we'll take off FSR and see if that solves the problem. Oh, you can't do DLS. Oh, okay. You can't do DLSS without with, with FSR on. Okay. Well, I guess I would prefer DLSS. Because that usually ups FPS by quite a lot. Whatever, we'll just leave DLSS on. Is that blood? It's not like we're going to really notice the difference anyways. You know what I'm saying? You say. I have something to ask. A guest? Are you a client of the master or a visitor from elsewhere in the hells? I do not believe you were invited. One moment. I shall consult the visitor's schedule. Hmm. Hmm. Most irregular. The schedule is all but clear, and yet you are here. I didn't romance Mizora, no. Will is not alive right now, so we haven't seen much of Mizora. I am Virilius Receptor, Zariel's High Inquisitor. Thousand apologies, O oh majestic magistrate of the infernal court. Your mortal guise is so vile, I found it perfectly convincing. I would prostrate myself before you and kiss your calluses, but my spine is ruptured in a thousand places. You do know how Raphael likes to play. As always, the archive is yours to peruse. You'll find everything accounted for, and I can present documents of procurement if necessary. Performance gain is the same for both, assuming you set the same level DLSS just tends to look better. Yeah, for some reason I thought I could do DLSS and FSR, but it makes sense to me now. So Larian must have came out with FSR to support people who don't have NVIDIA graphics cards, even though it also works with people that have NVIDIA cards. But yeah, if you have an NVIDIA GPU, um, DLSS is probably the way to go. Makes sense to me now. I might have to confiscate some of these artifacts, Mr. Archivist. You may examine them, O oh diabolical dominatrix, but they cannot be removed unless you present a writ of infernal requisition with Article 152 correctly filled out. Um, if you want to know what happened to any of my companions, I have one word for you. Decapitation, okay? Just assume that happened to all the companions that you don't see in my game. I'd like to see the hammer, please. An exquisite and most unique artifact. Crafted with materials hewn from the depths of the hells by Raphael's Merrigan labor force. As it was created by Raphael himself, we have no documents of procurement, nor do we require any. But if you wish to examine the artifact itself, you are more than welcome. As part of the special collection, that item is guarded by a master word that even I do not know. I suggest you wait until Raphael returns, and you can discuss the matter with him. 
You are welcome to relax in the boudoir until then. It is where Raphael conducts his most private matters of business and pleasure. Oh, trust me. I know you all about that. This to gain access. Why you think my dragonborn's tail boudoir smells boudoir so bad? I wish to explore every inch of your new form. And I'm sure you will be happy to share. I have a lot on my mind and, well, in it. No one back home will ever believe this. At least things have stayed interesting. Let's move. I see the Orphic Hammer has caught your eye. It really is a magnificent exhibit. Holy. Is. The Orphic Hammer, right within reach. A magical field surrounds the item, preventing you or anyone from touching it. You surmise it's controlled by a vocal component. Magic words. Give me my heart's desire. The magic blinks away at your words. The Orphic Hammer is within reach, but your theft won't go unnoticed. I mean, I didn't steal it yet now, did I? Where the hell's my zombie? Oh. Oh, shit. This is going to be a pain in the ass. to move them all individually if I don't go back like this. I gotta run to the bathroom. So while my characters are traveling here, I'll be right back. Okay. Which one? Oh yeah, true. When I teleport down there, they'll probably all appear. But at this point, you know what? We're already here, so... Hey, there we go. Perfect. But I might get into combat here within the House of Hope as well, so I think I want them right now. Come on, zombies. Really? There we go. Bunch of jumping zombies, that's funny. The Bones Brigade. Still alive. 
Come on, children. Get in line. Single file. <laughs> am I missing some? Hold on. Am I missing a ghoul? What the heck? Damn things don't know how to jump. Come on, buddy. Come on. Doesn't let you control them. It's a weird spell. Can't give up now. He's got one left. <laughs> All's well that ends. You're not as bad as I could have. On my way. There we go. We're going to watch them all pass in the hallway. <laughs> this is going to be funny. Just watch through the door. One. Two, three, four, Samantha, Jonathan, where did Michael go? All right, what now? Oh, uh, oh my God, we're missing one. Who are we missing? Oh shit, I forgot to do that, that's why. What's the name? Ben and Veronica back here snuffing the dog. Let's go. Come on. For Christ's sake. Watching these ghouls is like watching a monkey fuck a football. trip gone wrong also what he doesn't understand me never a dull moment ding, ding. you just rang the dinner bell and raphael's coming home to feast guys for starters and your soul for dessert ghosty is like honey tarts he planned for this i know he did you have everything under control it's really important that you don't panic, even when your eyes evaporate from the heat! Come to my prison, bring the hammer, break my chance, and then we exit stage any which way! I'll be there. Wick is a cockroach! Lickety split if you don't mind! Claim to be who you are not. Stole from my master, and now you expect to leave. The moment you step outside this room, all hells will break loose. Hello, Samantha. <laughs> uh, <laughs> a hopeless situation. <laughs> Dirty, thank you for this prime sub on Twitch. Appreciate no that. Rest. Thanks a lot. It's cool the archivist doesn't attack you. Mm -hmm. of hill giant strength oh shit hold on wait is that gonna blow up on me or something we took the orphic hammer but an alarm is notified or Raphael. we should leave the house of hope or our efforts have been for nothing on your first run of this game this is so intense because like you don't know what the timer is for Raphael to show up we found hope's prison now we just need the orphic hammer to break her chains we stole the gauntlets we should give them to Helsick as promised when we leave the house of hope 
breaker got the orphic hammer on a starion right now looking like a total badass Not now the gauntlets of hill giant strength set the wearer's strength to 23 the enchantment has no effect if their strength score is higher without it currently have a 20 in strength now i have a 23 and those are really cool looking too Amazing. What now? A long way to go still. Amulet of greater health. Amulet of greater health. Yeah, I'm not exactly sure like what the pressure plates do here. Kramis, thank you for the prime. Appreciate all of you guys. Mitch, hello. Might be my favorite part of the game. A lot of people say that. Da, 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 da. Oh yeah, by the way, Mitch, uh, I saw your comment the other day. Um, so on this stream, for the ritual, we found the proper instructions. So the instructions that I had on the stream were a lot more uh, mysterious. They're not the typical instructions that players have for that uh, ritual. It's kind of cool that there's two different sets of instructions depending on how you handle it. Set the wearer's constitution score to 23. The enchantment has no effect if their constitution score is higher without it. Advantage on constitution saving throws. Okay, so what do we have on her right now? We have gain a plus two bonus to spell save DC, gain additional use of channel divinity. I hope this is important. Let's give it to Menthara. Although that's pretty nice though. Resistance to slashing and bludgeoning damage. Nah. We're gonna wear the amulet of greater health. Twenty-three strength, twenty-three con, that's insane. What do the ballast gloves do? Wrap a shadow rope around a humanoid creature's throat to start garroting it. That's pretty cool, but I'm gonna forget to use that, so. No one stopped me yet. Right, let's check out the back real fast. Uh nope, we wanna come over here. 185 HP. Insane. I can't remember if you can actually Through use the this telescope, one. telescope, a sinister vista sprawls before you, boiling rivers and sheer crags, a sight of the hells that you'll never forget. Oh, we're not to the Raphael fight just yet. We still have to do the hope fight. Vengeance, the most delectable of poisons. Such a cool place. Does say vulnerability to bludgeoning damage. Good thing I took that off. Looking ahead. Don't waste a step. Okay, well, we're entering hostile territory here. And there's hope right there as well. How many invisibility potions do I have? Forgot about those damn things, dude. Shit. The Hell Spheres. They're not vulnerable to anything. Interesting. There we go. Shall we cut and run? 
Actually, I could probably stay in this. I wonder if the Hell Sphere can even come in this room. Honestly, I might do that. Where's this other guy that's fighting us? He's up here. Not too worried about him. Let's take a Starion. Let's move him right here. Damn, I don't have any action. Offhand attacks. It's gonna be Vault. A little bit of damage. I wonder what happens if you put water on these. Great water or something? I don't think it does anything. I think I tested that out on my first run. Oh, you're making fun of me, Mitch, for me solving the ritual puzzle on the previous stream. In a non-bad way. It was a funny way. I was just explaining to you that there's two different uh, answers to that ritual puzzle, and I had the more difficult one. Maybe the pressure plates... I don't know. I feel like when you grab the Orphic Hammer, the entire place goes hostile on you. But I could be wrong in saying that. We can always go to the... faucet again, too. Um, honestly, I kind of want to just go invisible and just walk everybody over there. I don't want to go through all these combat encounters. It's going to be a pain in the ass. But it is what it is, so. Lock the door completely. Ready for battle. He's running pretty low. I wonder if these creatures have that radiant. We're gonna have to check. I gotta be careful when you're in the House of Hope because there's some creatures that deal radiant damage back to you. And Minthara currently has on the Deva Mace. That can be quite the hazard. Why do I only have two of those guys? What happened to my other two? Game is bugging out a little bit. Um, I don't see. I see your membership milestone, Mitch. I don't see a uh, super chat. Wait, I see your. I responded to your milestone comment. I think that's what the yeah I don't see uh I don't see a super chat at all in my feed I see the milestone comment though yeah it lays all up to 197 nice that's awesome all right let's kick some ass you ready send the zombies out Oh, 
Uh, by the way, I started playing an RTS game because a company reached out to me for a sponsored video, which will be coming out this week, for an upcoming Warhammer game called Realms of Ruin. And I, I feel like I love RTS. I'm kind of a, I'm kind of addicted. I feel like RTS might be a genre for me. Not gonna lie. Yeah, I don't see nothing, Mitch. Georgie, thank you for the 10 BGN. Appreciate it. Super chat test. I doubt that it did, Mitch, but I can check after the stream is over. I can also check the back end. Um, I'm assuming it's not going to be there, but yeah, hopefully you didn't get charged. Wolfheart RTS. <laughs> I thought about making a different channel for like every genre. All right, what was I doing? I was taking a potion. The We're going to have a... We'll take one of these. It'll be fine. Actually, my sorcerer is not even in the battle right now. Probably just put this thing down. Let's do a force attack. Might as well do hex. Now nah, we'll just do force three. Hey, there we go. Then we also have Shadowheart too, who is not in the battle. I um, wonder if she can get a shot off here. I think these waves of enemies should stop after we kill this first batch. I'm hoping at least. No escape. Okay, perfect. So now we can go back to the fountain. Time to see what new horrors waiting for us. But we might end up encountering some more spheres along the way. Something's on my mind. No time to quit. Come nigh. Hey, Spaz. Happy belated. I wonder if the gods are watching me. Actually, yeah, yeah, let's clear this guy out. Where the hell is this guy coming from? What the hell? Moving. Oh yeah, see that did do damage back. Hold on, let me inspect these enemies. Radiating orb. Oh no. That's light in the area burning. Okay. Blazing to hide. When the Hell's Boar is hit with a melee attack, the attacker starts burning for three turns. Dark vision, opportunity attack. Hey, Kanye, how you doing? Yeah, Starion gains like a super powerful bite. I gotta remember that I have. And a couple other things. I don't have the haste spell uh, in my party comp right now. Probably a good thing though. Your command, right away. Got the dead shot bow though, baby. Let's go. Such a good bow. Let's get going. I'm clearing the path. So when we go to, am I still burning right now? Five more turns. Hold on, what happens if you throw a water bottle at a character who's burning? By my oath. That should take care of that. Oh, it's heat. I still have it. Who 
who's next? Out of my way. Just across the hall, if you don't mind. One character. On the way. Easy dub. Where the hell is this guy? So far away. Them. Let me strike. Any tips for a chronic act one restarter? <laughs> I don't know if I have a solution for your problem. I hope you make it past it, though. Light on my feet. Now, one of the mods on the channel, Adoram, or Don, as you guys know him, uh, he also is a chronic Act 1 restarter as well. Where do I go from here? Am I really fighting this guy that's like seven miles away? Okay, he's not that far, actually. Just let's get it to his turn. I don't know if DLSS is exclusive to 4000 series. I don't think it is, though. Could be wrong. This way. I think, I guess, I hope I'm right. My prisoners are still on their plates. Making these attacks with disadvantage. My victim Makes sense awake. that I missed. Shit, that freaking ball is right in my face. What the hell, dude? Alright, Minthara can take the damage though, so I'm gonna put her up there in its face. I don't, know, I don't know if the if the sphere can make opportunity attacks. I'm gonna find out right now though. Mitch, thank you for the $50 super chat. Holy moly. Here's another try for, you know, checking out the back end. <laughs> Thanks, Mitch. I'll make sure to uh, make sure that you weren't charged twice, all right? If I DM you after the stream, it means that you were charged twice. But I mean, if you got charged twice, and I could also keep it secret, you know what I'm saying? Make a quick extra buck. Nothing wrong with starting Act 1 over and over and having 15 different builds. Not at all. As long as you're having fun. That's all that matters, right? Hey, the cool thing about this game, though, is the respec. So you don't have to worry too much if you don't have a spec that you like. Can't change your race, though. All right. Um, let's... Let me back up into this room. And let's do a... Since we're near the fountain, I can basically just get rid of all my spell slots here and not really care. I should cast Hex first, actually. No! Start off with a... I'm just going to do a force. Why not? gonna lose all my ghouls Appreciate that, Mitch. Is there an act too? Hey, Oliver. Fresh orders. Shannon, hello. Ray says we see that one, Mitch. Nice one. Mitch does a lot of nice things. 
He pisses me off sometimes. Yeah, there's no opportunity attacks from this thing, so actually one strategy is just to hit and I run. Not fail. Can't wonder which way it's gonna go. Let's do a guiding bolt. Oh my god, that's so much damage. Nice. Nothing important is ever easy. These ray of spheres are no longer intimidating. <laughs> Looks like an artistry of war spell, doesn't it? Torment. It's not dead? What the hell? Uh oh. I'm assuming that if I clear the Hell Spheres out right now, after I do the Hope quest and we break her free from those chains, I can come back to the fountain without having to fight 7,000 different things, you know what I'm saying? Lightning enabled my staff. What the hell is this guy doing? Okay. Sure, run up there and hit the guy. Nice. No! I thirst for combat. If not over, then oh. Hoping my zombie gains his HP back here. No one stopped me yet. What am I to do? Keep a blade close. Report. Ooh. What happened here? The way is clear. You need my expertise. No time to be a if you insist. Okay, first let's take on these guys. No time to rest. That won't draw any attention. Taking these guys to Pound Town, aren't I? This shit's crazy. And look at Shadowheart's helm right now. That is so sick looking. Oh my god. That is that is definitely the coolest looking helm in this game. That's incredible. It doesn't really fit the whole like maroon pink blue that I have going on here, but it'll do. Red cape. Which is a good guy from what you heard, Arthur? Depends on who you ask, you know? 
a hex. Hey, that's okay, Canny, because that means you have a lifetime of playing Baldur's Gate 3. By the time you're uh, 75 years old, you'll finally make it to Act 3. That's amazing. Everybody's fire resistant down here. You know what I'm saying? Creating some real problems for me. Damn, these things just keep spawning. A bold maneuver. Keep forgetting I can fly. Probably should Nothing will stand in my way. end cloud kill now that we're getting into it. Yes. Oh my god. Shouldn't have done that. I should have used charm. Karlak looks amazing with it. Yeah, it's cool that it's not like heavy armor. God, a Starion is just such... A sharpshooter, it's incredible. Even with the nerf to the offhand damage, not using dexterity modifier unless you pick up the two weapon fighting style, which I don't currently have because I haven't respect. Still just insanely powerful. Oh shit, there's a freaking dog right in front of me. Almost didn't notice that guy. Mitch with a $10 super chat. I think you're thinking of someone else with the ritual thing. No clue, but thank you for that mace video. I used that entire act for two people. Things awesome. Had no idea about it. You're welcome, Mitch. Yeah, I don't know. Whatever. Maybe I'm thinking of the wrong person. I deleted that entire stream, though, because I was having network problems, so it doesn't even matter. I can't even check. But cheers, man. Thanks. Too many Mitches running around these days, you know? It's confusing. Hello, Jessica. Who's my favorite companion? You guys ask some tough questions. Why do I always gotta choose favorites? Okay, I think I have a couple more enemies that we have to kill. Actually, no, I think we have a clear shot now to getting back to the faucet. So I should probably do that before. Yeah, let's go ahead and loot real fast. We'll go back to the faucet one more time. It's a nice mechanic to have while in the House of Hope where you can't long rest. It's so funny that so many players on their first run in the Our House of Hope never discover the faucet. Breath, if I must. And they have like one spell slot by the time they arrive at the Raphael fight. I'm excited for the Raphael fight. I can't wait to listen to the soundtrack. I also don't really remember his mechanics, so... I just remember him being, uh... Being fairly tough. Why's my imp not following me? 
step. This is such a peaceful little abode right here. If it is for the best. Figured I'd try to use uh, cure, <laughs> cure wounds on my zombie. It didn't work though. Still breathing, despite everything. The damn death burst from heat. It's funny because aid actually does work on the zombie, but cure wounds doesn't. I wonder if it's supposed to be like that. Alright, let's save this. Actually, let me get closer first. So that's progress. It's time to go free Hope from her prison, even though that's kind of like the morally good thing to do, probably. It also can be RP'd on an evil run because you want her help in the House of Hope and you care more about killing Raphael versus... You know? Saving Hope is going to help you in that venture, so... That's the ultimate goal. Darken, hello. Just to spite Raph. Yeah, exactly. Rune powder? I'm saving my rune powder bomb for the actual Iron Throne that we have to do at some point. I spammed that faucet on my first playthrough. You really went and did it, didn't you? <laughs> the whole house is tumbling down and Raphael striding across the plains to come catch a mice. I swing that big, beautiful hammer, crack open my chains, and let's get out of here. Guess I'm hoping that Astarian is still hidden right now. Because he's not supposed to be down here talking to Hope, but okay. Any advice when it comes to fighting Raphael? Don't! But if you must, make sure I'm with you. He makes mistakes when he's angry, and seeing me running free will make him as angry as an axe head. I wonder what that translates over to gameplay mechanics wise. Let's do this. You sound so brave, but we really don't have a choice. Okay, perfect. So I'm still okay over here. God, dude, the spectators, the design, the animations, the 3D modeling, etc. is just so cool for the spectator. And those of you guys that played early access, like maybe the first two years of early access, two and a half years maybe, the spectator design was different. Larian greatly improved it. They're so uh, intimidating looking. They're actually neutral creatures. You met a spectator. If you're walking around and you met a spectator, it most likely would just try to have a philosophical conversation with you. It wouldn't actually kill you. Even though it is part of the Beholderkin species, um, it's a neutral creature. The only time that they're really dangerous, according to the lore, is when they're guarding something. And in this case, every single spectator in Baldur's Gate 3 is guarding something, so... But Larian gives them a bad... Uh, Larian gives a spectator a bad name. You know, they're actually kind of cool creatures. Now, Beholder is on the other end. They're like the ultimate evil of all the universes. All of the spectators in this game are guarding something, so it makes sense. They're, uh, they're doing work. Alright, so this fight can be a little intimidating... And I don't know, maybe the spectators will be tough on Tactician, but I think I remember these imps right here, like, having, like, repelling blast or something, which can knock you off the damn platforms. These things have stayed interesting. Honestly, I should probably actually... At your command. Bring Minthara up to where... Yeah, I'm going to spread my team out a little bit. Oh, what did I just do? I didn't mean to click that. I see a lever, I click it. 
I guess the zombie's coming with me. We're gonna split up the team here just because of AoEs. Oh, wrong way. If you are sure. I can't wait for the Dark Urge playthrough. I'd be lying if I said like an entire playthrough isn't going to be a little pla little painful though because I feel like I need a break from this game, but the Dark Urge story is like really, really really, really making me want to just go right into another playthrough right after this and not even take a break. Although World of Warcraft Season of Discovery is coming out, so you guys might see you guys might see this channel's downfall over here over the next couple months. As I stop making videos and only stream a boring MMO for 12 hours a day and get fat and... Cheers to that. Let's split up, gang. Thank you guys for being here today. I appreciate it. Twitch and YouTube users alike. Damn, you Twitch people are going to get me to, like, Twitch partner. Like, I did, honestly didn't even think that was ever going to even happen. Been streaming on Twitch for, like, two weeks. How many viewers do we have right now? 76 viewers on Twitch right now? So I have to average 75 for I don't know how long, and then you get Twitch partner. That's crazy. Thank you. So the cool thing about Twitch partner is it's not going to change anything. Well, it is going to change something. It's going to make the stream quality. I'm going to be able to stream at a higher bit rate. So therefore, YouTube and Twitch will both have a quality increase because right now they're both the same quality, numbers-wise. But I have to gimp the YouTube stream way down because Twitch only lets me stream at a certain bit rate on uh, Fresh orders. when I'm multi-streaming. So I had to also tone down the YouTube streams because I'm multi-streaming and they're both using the same program. So once I get Twitch partner, then we'll be able to stream in much higher quality no overall. Respite. Okay, so here we go. Let's move. You guys ready for this? F5. Oh, I don't know if my zombies are going to be able to make that jump. Don't waste a step. So close and yet so far. All hope of escape frozen in time forever. The basilisk oil just disintegrates anybody when you're in the hells. Out of sight. Out of okay, so the cool thing is you can actually stealth this. Let's see what we can do with the Starion. Let's. I think once I attack, though, I wonder if you can switch inventories. If I could put Minthara over on this one and then pass the Orphic Hammer over to her at the cost of an action. Hmm. Let's be careful here. Oh, shit. <laughs> Let's be careful here. And then I just get into combat immediately. Okay. Well, here we go. So. Who's up first? Shadow? Apparently I'm trapped in here because of the stupid ghoul. I can't even move. Alright. But I can fly. Alright, let's go ahead. I think I do have to go after the imps first before the spectators, which is a weird strategy, but I think it needs to be done. Thirty-three HP, thirty-three HP. Okay, I'm actually gonna do a spiritual weapon up there as well. This imp. Let's go ahead and fly. Can I fly all the way over here. No, I can't. Let's go invisible. We're gonna assassinate one of those imps. Imp versus imp. And then we're going to take a Starion. This guy should turn. Um, I wonder if I can make this... Oh my god, I think I might be able to do this. You don't want to fly over the red cones. Remember on my first run, I kept trying to jump over the vision cones? And then, like, I had a moment of, like, realizing how stupid I was. That it's a vision cone. It's not, like... <laughs> you guys see what I'm saying? I try to jump over the red. <laughs> it really doesn't make sense to even try to do that. It's a vision cone, so... It extends vertically as well. 
Oh, come on. Oh, am I, was I not hidden? Shit. Oh, shit, 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 shit. Okay, we're okay. Oh, man. Got a spectator in my face. Got a damn spectator in my face, folks. Really got to make sure. Damn it, man. Honestly, I might go invisible with the Starion. Fly him down here. Oh, nice. I can actually. Oh, shit. This is great. Holy crap. Um, if I can have another. Hold on, though. I got to think this through. I have action surge. Holy crap. Let's go. Okay, now I gotta now I gotta make sure I don't die. Oh shit, okay, alright. We got a spectator in my face, 176 HP. God man, it's like the spectators are the imps. Who do I want to kill first? Imps are gonna knock you off, so let's do I'm doing the imp. Perfect. And then I have an extra attack here. Beautiful stuff. Not enough movement. You gotta be shiting me. The hell? Uh oh. Oh, baby. I didn't even think about that. My Illithid powers are gonna stop their Eldritch Blasts. I think my I think my ghouls are completely useless in this fight. Oh yeah, Minthara too. All right, let's sleep, sneak her up. Good thinking. I feel like with her, I should be able to fly over because I'm actually in sneak mode. Char, enjoy your food. Happy lurking. Mitches are in the YouTube chat. Yes, they are. All right, let's go ahead and let's come out to the middle here. Stay as close to the middle of the ledges or of these platforms as I can. We got two guys right here, 18 HP. And then we got how many imps up here? One imp right there. One imp right there. Damn, there's a lot of them. Holy crap. These guys vulnerable to anything? They're not. Do, 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 do. I wonder if this would... I'm gonna try this. It's more so like a ground spell. But while the ice is coming down, it should hit the imps. And actually, I could... No, you can't, uh, you can't twin that one. We can quicken it, though. Oh, I can get three of them. Yeah, let's give this a try. Yeah, not bad, not bad at all. That bastard survived, though. What the hell, man? I gotta get rid of my stupid heat gear. I didn't mean to put that on. That's why I keep burning. The next time you deal fire damage, you deal an additional one fire damage for every... Put on something wrong.
I don't know where that's coming from. On your command. Oh, we're kicking ass right now. No question about it. Let's see what the spectators do, though. Um, were they resistant to fire damage? Not sure, but let's give this a try. Solid. Almost Raphael time. Interesting, I can use... Yeah, let's do shield level one. Spiritual weapon's pretty much done for. I'm probably not gonna get no more use out of it. Zombie versus spectator. Okay, one at a time, but actually I do have the stupid imp that I have to kill. Should I focus on him first? Let's see. Hmm. A little bit nervous here. I forgot about this little guy, he was camouflaged. An imp with 1 HP is an imp that can still cast Eldritch Blast, Repelling Blast, and knock you off the map. Kind of like a wizard with 1 HP is still a wizard that can cast Fireball. Hey, Thor, how you doing? Rory from Doctor Who. No mercy. Yeah. See ya, partner. Oh damn, I can't make it there. Ninety percent with disadvantage. Wait, how did that imp get health back? What the hell? Oh, that's my imp. Silly goose. Survival is all that matters. Silly goose. Has made the leap. All the other ones are too scared. Oh no. I think I miss clicked. <laughs> Pretend it was an attack roll and then I missed, okay? Even though that spell is not an attack roll. What a fearless imp. Running right up to the mouth of a spectator. Taking too long to get around here. It's gonna shoot my bow. Still breathing, despite every 
anything. Did I skip Hope's turn last time? Actually, I don't think she had a turn. It's Hope's turn. Let's start learning what she has because she's going to be quite useful during the Raphael boss fight. We have Bless, Divine Strike, Guiding Bolt, Mass Healing Word, Ma Healing Word, Preserve Life, Evoke a Healing Energy that Restores Allies. Plus a Channel Divinity. I think we should also have... I thought we had Divine Intervention with her. Revoke guest status. Hope banishes one of the unwelcome guests from her house forever. That's pretty cool, isn't it? Until long rest. I hope I, when I use the restoration fountain that I'll get that back. Oh, there's divine intervention. Yeah, so we want to save that for the Raphael fight. I'm pretty sure that I'll get revoke guest status back. I don't know if I'm going to. Never mind. I'm not going to use it right now. Just in case. So let's just do a guiding bolt. Solid. Solid, solid, solid. in the room you can see how you avoid looking at me I must be so terribly mutilated after all these decades of torture don't hold back tell me how bad it is hideous I can barely stand to look at you I shall find a breathable sack to wear on my noggin but only after we escape We'll carve our way to the entrance hall and chop Raphael into messes. That's the hopeful version, of course. The likely version is that we are the messes and he is the chopper. Onwards! We have 93 viewers on Twitch chat. Twitch, you guys just set a new record for the channel. Oh, Astarian died? When the hell did that happen? Well, shit. That's not good. Okay, back to the fountain we go, and then off to the Raphael boss fight. Or some of the best music that you guys have ever heard in your entire gaming, measly, pathetic gaming lifetimes. And you guys will not speak in the chat while that song is playing, or you will be permabanned. Okay? Complete silence. All right, hold on. Let me loot everybody here. All the ghouls are going to have a really hard time following me. Burnished Ring, Paralyzing Ray, which is one of the spectator attacks. You should still be able to do this, but if you guys get... Um... Shit, what's his name? What's the fat mushroom dude in the Underdark? Glut. If you get him on your side, you can animate spores on the spectator in the Underdark. And then you get to have a spectator on your team for a little while. Then you get to try out all of the uh, all of the spectator's abilities like Paralyzing Ray. The problem is it... Oh, I thought it, re it doesn't require constant... Okay, all right, never mind. It's not too bad. I could put that on my one character. Sure, we'll take all that. Anything else down here that I'm missing? I don't think so. Make sure there's like no reception or survival it's checks over here. If this sorry soul's demise should be mourned or celebrated as a release from whatever torment they were forced to endure. This one's suffering is forever enshrined in the harrowing arrangement of its bones. 
Charlotte Heart looks like she's part of some evil cult. Kinda was, right? Okay, that's it. Let's get out of here. There's a secret that I missed, and I missed it. It's too bad. I'll feel that one later. Let's see if we can get the entire crew to come over here. That's gonna be the challenge. That's gonna be the biggest challenge in the House of Hope, is getting all my ghouls to follow me. Alright, let's see who comes through the door. One, two, three, four. Five, six. <laughs> oh my god, Veronica and Ben, what are they doing? And Hope, too. Told you guys that was going to be the biggest challenge. Yeah, let's see who we have here. We're missing, <laughs> missing three of them. These damn ghouls, man. All right, this guy can stay. And then these three are still up there, and my imp is down here. So let's go back. You guys ever teach a ghoul how to jump? Pull out your notepads, folks. Remember doing that with the bullet? Yeah, it's so much fun. So in the early days of... Are you freaking kidding me right now, brother? Oh, shit. Who just followed me? You stay right there. In the early days, the first half of Early Access, those of you guys that probably a lot of you guys weren't playing BG3 back then, with um, with Sovereign Glut, you could use the animating spores spell uh, an unlimited amount of times. So there was one there was one point in Early Access where I had two Minotaurs, a Spectator, a Boulette, and I think a couple Myconids that were all following my character around and on my character's team, which was incredible. All right, so let's see if we can actually make this happen this time. We got to do a jump that all of them can handle. So maybe over here first. Come on, guys. One, two. <laughs> uh, ben was never the smartest ghoul, that's for sure. Oh, wait, Ben might not be chain linked to me, actually. Which one's Ben? Benjamin! Wait, why do I have... The numbers aren't adding up here. One, two, three, four. Why do I... Where did the extra ghoul come from? Okay, screw that ghoul. I don't know what's going on right now. Let's get out of here. This place is driving me insane. Clinically insane. Oh my god, that guy... Alright, I'm done with it. Are you serious right now? How about that? Well, hello. All's well that ends. Not as bad as it could have. See ya, Benjamin. Never a dull moment. You're always my least favorite child. Oh shit! What just what just what just happened? Oh my god! All right, get out of here. I think they do teleport when you go Not through the sure next room, back. but uh, I like to gather my children anyways. Okay. Someone there. Light on my feet. Okay, it's just about Raphael time, folks. Prepare your ears. Be pleased with one of the greatest songs that have ever been written in gaming history by Borislav, aka Bobby, composer for the Divinity series in Baldur's Gate 3. Let me try something here. <laughs> These things have stayed interesting. No one back home will ever believe this. Having a hard time selecting party members right now. Come on, what's going on? Like lagging or right. something. I know, I know, I know. Everybody, come on, let's go. Get over here. Thank you. I wonder what the next move is.
Thank you very much. All right, it is time for Raphael. Man, I'm so excited right now. Let's see what kind of elixirs we have. Let's actually make use of potions for once in my life. Psychic resistance. I think we need fire resistance. Could do universal resistance, actually. That might not be a bad idea. Um, let's drink that with Leon. Let's drink that with... Oh, shit. Leon's the one I shouldn't have done it with. We'll drink it with... Milthara? Uh, crap. I should have done... Oh, no. We need to keep Astarion alive, right? He has the most mobility, so we'll drink it with Shadow Hearts. And then Astarion is going to take a... Oh. Okay. Oh, my God. Those are... I thought those were until a long rest. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Run to the Raphael fight. Run. I didn't know those were one minute in-game time. Oh, man. I screwed that up. Now I don't have time to... Come on, folks. Gather up. Let's go. We stole the gauntlets. She gave him the hell sick. Save hope. Hope thank us for freeing everybody. Get out of Raphael's. We must slay the devil first. Come on, folks. Get over here. Let's go. We got everybody. Am I missing somebody? Too many children to take, keep track of here. Okay. Let's uh, let's think about that again. Elixirs. Big old waste. But what are you going to do about it? You know, cry? Bite the bullet and move on, right? Okay, this is... Reversal resistance? Hmm. Never a dull moment. Oh, that's for poison. When it says universal, it doesn't make me think poison. I think we're just going to have to go for it. Screw the potions, you know what I'm saying? Who needs a little resistance, you know what I'm saying? I know I don't. Let's go. Alright, Astarian has four turns. Oh my god, those are better than I thought. Holy crap. No way. Resistant to all damage. Dude, I had four of those. This, every single encounter in the game is a joke if you have those potions. Those must be super rare and I just tipped them back and drank them like they're, <laughs> like it was a Diet Coke. You know what I'm saying? That's insane. That's all right, we need a little challenge. You know what I'm saying? We need a challenge, folks. Is what we need. I already have fire resistance from... Koreshka's Flame. Deals damage a spell, gains one turn. Nope, that's not what I'm looking for. Each... I should already have that active. Um, let's see. Shadowheart has two turns left with invulnerability. You know what? Let's just run in. in your name. Potions are a... I hope this is important. Potions are a sake. bonus action anyways. It's not like I can't drink them. I am going to drink one with Minthara, though. Okay. Raphael, fight. Here we go. Raphael. Raphael. Am I going to keep the hammer on Astarion? I am listening. Um, I can't remember the fight mechanics here. Let me think. So I know that we have the pillars, which need to be taken down. 
Maybe I don't need the Orphic Hammer anymore. I don't know if there's any benefit to using that in this fight. It doesn't really matter because I don't use melee with a Starion anyways, so... He is a uh, dual crossbow wielder. <laughs> Unshackling Strike. 6 to 25 damage. It's actually pretty good in a Starion's hands, actually. Smite the magical bonds, keeping a creature restrained, paralyzed, and stunned. Maybe I'll keep it on, actually. It seems like it could be useful. It doesn't really matter what I have equipped in this main hand right now. Is that blood? Here we go. No, never mind. You guys ready? Got my crew here. We're all looking good. Hope is with us. Another step forward. Really, game? You're not gonna... Oh, damn it. I don't want my potions to wear out, so... <laughs> I'm gonna have, like, no potions active. I wonder if I have to click the actual portal. I think I do. The game makes... The game wants to let you know that you're about to escape. You must gather your party before leaving the house. Oh, man. All my potions are just... It was just a waste. You know what? We'll see what I can learn. I screwed that up. Come on, everybody, let's go. Time slows for a moment, and the air becomes thicker. The master of the house is coming. Need some water for this. You. Rilla's hope sister, you're gonna giggle non-lethal for her? I don't think I really care about uh, the life of creatures around me on this run, to be quite honest with you. There are many things in your world that I loathe. Litters of kittens, chattering children, the noise, and the chaos of it all. Isabella. In my world, in my house, there is order, and there is decorum. You came here uninvited, and you stole from me. In doing so, you brought the chaos of your world into mine. I will not abide it. It's over, Raphael. You can't stop me. I'm not entirely sure that he won't. Oh, hope. You are such a piteous thing. All it takes is a crumb from the table and you forget the centuries of starvation. This insolence has earned you centuries more. Carilla, tell our unwelcome guest about your role in their tragic downfall. I permitted you the freedom to decide your own fate. You could have been smart, selfless, saved the world. Instead, you came here and risked everything. It's the fatal flaw of mortal kind. Take away their free will and they call you a tyrant. Allow them to indulge it and they become tyrants. You would have been heroes if you'd only dealt fairly with me. Instead, you're not so different to doomed Cassus, overreaching your limits and burning your world to ash. Wrong! 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 They will save their world and smash you to smithereens! It's this charming naivety that makes your company such a joy to me, Hope. I'll even forgive this little rebellion once you're suitably chastised this isn't a rebellion it's a revolt i'm revolting <laughs> then hope dies today your gear commander you can salvage a trophy from these insects when i'm done with your gear's on my side my name is your these insects understand the honor of hunters better than you ever will, Trickster. They help me to eliminate my prey yes. beneath the Shadowlands. Prey 
that you hoped I would never find. Such a good guy. And that's why I helped them find your home. Raphael's like, oh Indeed. shit. What? I will make you suffer torment so vile, the hells themselves will shudder to see them. And whatever torments I invent for your gear, I will perfect in the centuries I spend toying with your soul. If you have any last words, make it quick. It will only take a moment to finish you. Yeah, apparently you don't have to do the charisma check or whatever it is. If you don't help him, you can turn your gear to join you against Raphael, but it's a really hard DC. On my first run, I just killed your gear and Raphael. But this is cool since we became friends earlier. That's twice as long as Harlap said it <laughs> takes to finish you. <laughs> you contemptuous creature! Oh damn, that's a good comment. <laughs> And goosebumps. Whole body is just a big goosebump right now. And my headset's about to die. Great timing. What a song, right? Artistry of War would come in handy here, right? Come on, Raphael, dance for me, Biatch. You stupid fiend. Gotta take out these soul pillars, but it's just like 
Honestly, I think it's worth it. Screw it. I'm going to shoot them, even though it's vulnerable or resistant. I think it's worth it. I think it's worth it. He's got to go first. Let's see. We got 85 HP left. I could action surge. Do two more with sharpshooter on. Sure. All or nothing, baby. I like it. I like it. I can even do a menacing attack on it for an extra 1d8. Oh my god, wait. Oh my, for a minute I thought I was shooting my my spiritual weapon for a second. <laughs> okay, all right. Shadowheart, you're doing pretty good. Honestly, honestly, babe, I might actually give you a potion of speed. Hold on, hold on. There's something with radiant damage in this fight where when you hit Raphael with it, I don't have any forced vulnerability. I know what we're going to do. I know exactly what we're going to do, folks. Okay. Miss this. Rays of fire. Vengeful Cambion. Damn, dude. What level is that? Level two. Um, we'll use psionic dominance. Wait, wait. What? Okay, there we go. La, da, la. Oh wait, why'd I do that? No, I'm in the globe of invulnerability. Dude, they shouldn't be able to hit me with that. It was good with Minthara, but. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Five damage, um, honestly. Three Eldritch Blasts might even be better than that. So let's go ahead and let's quicken. I wonder if I can hex the Soul Pillars. Almighty soul. Pinoles, thank you for the prime sub. Appreciate you very much. Thank you. I'm not taking combat tips, but thank you guys. I'm not looking at them. You can give me all the all the advice you want to give me right now. Hell, hell. Hell has its laws. Hell, hell. Effect in the cause. Cut these walls, but hold your applause. Swirl, 
are now down here. Cut the claw. Oh my god. Awesome. Souls go to their doom. Oh. Take them to the claw. Got the correct lyrics, something like that. I think I got it right. Raphael, gratata. That's what I'm about to do to Raphael. I'm about to grat. Wait, how did that come? Oh my God, I forgot about that one. Well, Schneikies just needs two damage. I could do it with Shadow Heart, but that would be a that'd be a pretty big waste. Um, I got an idea, folks. You ready for this? Oh, this is stupid. This this isn't even gonna work. I'm so far away. If I come down here, it's still not gonna be enough. I screwed it up, man. I really screwed it. I royally screwed it up. You know what I'm saying? Royally screwed it up. Shit. How many globes? Okay, I'll tell you what we're going to do. Tell you guys exactly what we're gonna do here. Focus. Watch this. Globe of, Globe of Invulnerability is, is a concentration spell. <laughs> Alright, now we got the real fight. Now the real fight begins. What kind of positioning do we want? Let's see. Got one, two soul pillars left. Let's move Shadow over here. Let's spread out a little bit. Detected. The arch. <laughs> Whoopsie Daisy. <laughs> Thanks, man. Appreciate that. Oh, 
I don't know, Ellie, but I might try that out on Raphael here shortly. Because I am a vampire ascendant after all. Alright. Venthara is coming up in the order of turns, so is Leon. Man, these Cambions, they all have like 120 HP. Uh oh. That's not good. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god. Bro, I almost TPK'd right there. That's insane. It's not even fair. Got Corilla to worry about, too. Come on, Shadow. Weapon dropped. Oh my god, they're dealing massive damage to me right now. Right, hold on, let's take a look at... God, that is so badass, isn't it? Okay. I could have sworn when I hit Raphael with radiant damage, it was like... Shooting radiant damage back at me. But I don't see that. Um... Devil Sight, Dark Vision. Punish Divinity. When hit with Radiant, there we go. So his second form is what does that, I guess. You use a reaction to stun the attacker. So that means that I can't attack with any Radiant spells or Minthara's mace. So we got to get him out of his little form here. Let's see. We got one, eight, one left on that. So let me... Let's fly up here. Um, yeah, we're going to fly to right here. Right behind that pillar. And I'm going to do... Could call my ghouls back in too that costs an action i do okay hold on hold on hold on hold on we might be okay here you mean not enough space let's let's do a magic missile we could also quicken that too we're gonna do a magic missile actually force force it's my percentage chance 100 we're gonna do yeah we're gonna do that and then we're just gonna flop at Gonna move up a little bit, buddy. Oh, I can also distance spell. Let's go. Forgot about that. Oh my god, yes. Let's go. Let's go, baby. Sort points for the win. Should I probably only need one shot, but I'm gonna do two just in case. Let's help out Shadowheart a little bit here, too. Oh, Raphael still gets his freaking form. I thought he might come out of that. Oh, crap. I need that globe of invulnerability right now. Enhances fiendish powers, granting him an even deadlier array of spells and abilities. In this form, soul overcharge will not prevent him from using souls to cast spells. He has six soul charges right now. Gotta subdue this guy somehow, man. You know what I'm saying? I thirst for combat. And I can't attack him while he's in this form with Minthara right now because that stupid punish divinity. Damn it. Okay, so we can attack the other characters though. So let's go ahead and help out. Let's do... Let's fly over there. We're going to help out Shadowheart. Try to stay spread out here in case this guy casts another fireball or something. That was insane. Wait. Okay. Oh my god, I'm disarmed. Wait, do I have my mace in my hand? Oh, shit. Oh my god. You gotta be shitting the dog. Oh my god. Unbelievable. Larian? Oh my god, I gotta take an attack of opportunity to get back there too. Unbelievable. It also costs an action to equip it too. I don't have that right now, so. Or do I? 
<laughs> souls! Souls! I guess that, that ended Minthara's turn. Not sure I understand what happened right there. I wonder if that even gives you another action if you already have it active. Probably doesn't. All right, Corilla, what you gonna do for me? Let's go ahead and... We're gonna do a massive heal here, I think. Let's see, everybody needs a heal. Mass cure wounds. Oh my God, this is gonna be epic. Watch this. One, two, three. Man, people are out of view right now. Let me see if I can... I don't think I can see either of them from right here. Target's out of sight. Really, I can't even heal the ankle? Unbelievable. That's a high-level spell, too. Just a little bit worried that I'm going to... Drop dead. Mass healing words just not enough HP to really make it worth it right now. <sighs> Honestly, I might go offensive on this one. Try to take out one of these Cambions. Game's not letting me examine any of the enemies for some reason. Forgot your gear was even there. Oh my god, that's such a crazy shot. Did he get buffed? I don't remember him being that good before. All right, Astarion, let's see. I think it's time to start going after Raphael. We're gonna get a little bit of high ground here. Oh my god, my freaking crossbow got taken out of my hands too. You gotta be kidding me. Oh my god. Dude. This is unbelievable. Where's my other crossbow? There's another one around here too. Can't remember what I had. That's definitely my weapon right there. They have a lot of disarming attacks here. There it is right there. You gotta be kidding me. Sneaky bastard. Oh my god. Okay, I picked that up. Let's, um, no opportunity attack. Probably fly here. Fly back up here. Okay, we're doing okay. Got decent HP. I have one shot I can take on Raphael. We're gonna go ahead and... Actually, I might go invisible here. Let's just spread out. Let's just spread out, man.
I don't know why it's not letting me ins oh there we go okay T worked Thank you for stopping into the stream. I appreciate that. Oh, we got a Larian dev in here. Thank you for all your hard work. You guys are much deserving for all of those awards. Can't wait to see you guys win even more in December. That's going to be an ex honestly the most hyped stream in the future is the December Game Awards because I cannot wait to watch that live. Just watch Larian just steamroll that event. It's going to be so great. Might even cry. You guys might see me cry on stream. Chai, thank you for gifting a tier one sub. Appreciate it. Braz says, this is some high level stuff. Reminds me of some fights in BG2 or Icewind Dale. This is probably one of the more tough fights in the game for sure. Trying to think what I, uh, what I want to do here. So many choices in this game, you know what I'm saying? Oh, there's just too many choices. Let's go ahead and take care of all these guys. I think I'm going to focus on these three Cambions, and we're going to go after Raphael. Lightning resistance. Damn, you got to be kidding me. Seriously? How many resistances do these damn things have? That kind of ruins my plan a little bit. What happens if I use Create Water on them, though? You know, I could do Spirit Guardians right now. Might actually be pretty good for a few rounds. Just got to be careful not to run into Raphael. I'm thinking about, ta you know what? Screw it. Let's do it. What's the worst that can happen? You know what I'm saying? What? Okay, that's what happens. Do all. Oh my god. Vengeful Cambion. I can heal through that. Watch this. Oh. Team Marie says, Larry and Devs deserve every award ever. Best game I've ever played. I wonder if these guys are resistant to thunder. I saw lightning. Let's do shield blow. Can't believe all these characters are protected against radiant damage. That's insane. God, how many... You got one more turn as Ascended Fiend. All right, what we got to do is we got to move in range here so he, Gorilla can cast off, or uh, Hope can cast off a spell that sees everybody. I'm going to move to right here. Damn, dude. Like, these, there's just so much HP in this room. It's insane. Oh, 
poison resistance. Just don't have that many good spells with my Sorlock right now. R01, thank you for the Prime sub. Appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Mechanically the best game. I have a few quibbles with the story, but the game is still awesome, despite those. Remember when I was playing this fight during my uh, offline playthrough on my Let's Play series? I was like panicking because I felt like I was taking too long to sit here and think about things. But not on a live stream, who cares? Three soul charges left. I wish I got all those on the first round. If I didn't get rid of my globe of invulnerability, we'd be doing just fine right now. I guess I'm just going to start doing force damage. We're going to do... We're going to start with mirror image. Or do I go all out on the damage? Okay, perfect. I don't even know if I should focus on them or if I should just focus down Raphael right now. I'm trying to figure out in my head. You know what I'm saying? It's a tough decision to make. Forgot to cast Armor of Agathis at the start of the fight, too. Alright, this guy's got 70 HP. Okay, I like it, I like it. Gotta keep her in sight. Because we're gonna pull off a crazy heal here in a moment. My victims await. Alright, Menthara, what do you got for me, babe? Let's see. She's got her mace now. <laughs> she, I literally can't use the mace until until we get rid of this punished divinity status effect. Honestly, it might be time to turn into a displacer beast. It is. It is absolutely time. And let's go ahead and... Displace. Teleport yourself on a target to a nearby location, shredding the target's mind. Illusory copper. Create an illusory displacer beast to attack nearby enemies. Now, the only problem is I gotta keep these guys spread out a little bit. I'm very worried about the next spell that Raphael is going to cast. Honestly, you know what I might do here, actually? You know what I might do here? No, I'm not going to do it. Never mind, I take it back. I'm just going to spread out. I think that's the best plan. Arlwenny, thank you for the five tier one gifts to the Twitch chat. Wow, Twitch chat is just going off today. Man, I might have to start streaming exclusively on Twitch. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. YouTube chat's what made me, so thank you guys. Electric damage build with a Tempest Cleric, maybe. Tactician mode should require you to play with some consideration. The game is warning you multiple times that the game is going to be hard. Let it be hard. Alright. I think I'm good with that. Just want to spread out here in case... What's his name tries to drop my entire team. I'm a little bit worried this could be a TPK. Detected and this fight's fun though. It's a lot going on. A lot to take into account. All right, Mrs. Hope, let's see. Let's see what divine interventions that we have here. I think I'm in kind of a moment of uh, desperation if you ask me. Resurrect fallen companions with half their HP and restore all, restore all nearby allies as if they had a long rest. That is insane. Call upon your deity to provide you with a rich bounty of potions and camp supplies. Can you imagine using that? Using divine intervention on that? Such a waste. Grant you a legendary weapon. Or I can do 8d 8 to 80 radiant damage to everybody in the room, which is a bad idea right now. But it would probably be really, really deadly. Um, hold on. Is this going to heal? It restores all nearby allies if they had a long rest. Yes, I think this is exactly what I need. So let's see what the... Oh my god, look at this. Are you guys ready for this? I'm doing it. 
Oh, it's such a lifesaver. Wait, where was a star? Oh my god, a Starion! What the hell are you doing over there, brother? Oh, I'm sorry, Wolfhard! I'm sorry, man! Goddamn rogues. And one best support and performer of the year, but you can't perform in the frickin' final Raphael boss battle? Unbelievable decision out of Astarion right there. Disgusting. Alright. Um, let's go ahead and... Let's move up a little bit. Try to spread out, you know what I'm saying? Let's spread the team out. Georgie, thank you for the five gifted! Appreciate it, man. Welcome to all the new YouTube channel members. Why does he talk like Goofy? What do you mean? I was voice acting for Astarion. What's the problem? Dahlia, thank you for the tier one sub. I'm pr getting pretty good at the Twitch language, aren't I? The fan art and the cosplays I'm seeing from the BG3 community is amazing, isn't it? It's insane, like, how much art has been done for this game. It's incredible. And Larian shares it all the time, which is also an incredible move out of their company. All right, here we go. Let's get this job done, all right? Stop snuffing the dog. All right, Shadow, what are you going to do for me? Oh, this is my spirit weapon. I made some uh, some pretty serious mistakes in this fight, but we're still alive, and I think I can still do it. The global invulnerability mistake was pretty bad. I feel like Yurgir got buffed. He, he is just way better than... I don't know, man. He's doing really good. Do, 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 do. I actually just might have a Starion go all out on Raphael right now. I take it back. We're going to help out Shadowheart. Oh, that was beautiful. That was beautiful. 60%. Let's up that to 75. Perfect. And then... I don't... Where'd my offhand attack icon go? Apparently, I got rid of it. Why does it not show up right here? Am I blind? We have main hand attack and then ranged attack. Backbreaker, concussive smash, ranged attack, piercing shot. Do I not have an offhand? Oh my god, I didn't equip the off. There we go. That's the problem. That's the problem right there, folks. All right, let's see if we have a potion of speed. Nope, I'm out of potions of speed. The weapon disarming in this fight is actually just insane. Like, it's crazy. Oh, well, that's great. Now I have nothing to do with two bonus actions. <sighs> Might have to go bite somebody. Should I go bite Raphael? 12 to 72 healing. Plus 66 necrotic. Oh, that's cool. I think I can use the regular bite and also the ascendant bite. That's nice. I also have Misty Escape, too. That's nice. A lot of nice things going on here. You know what I'm saying? Just gonna hold my ground over here spread out a little bit shadow heart i need you to take care of this guy right in front of you if you don't mind you don't have an action though so in that case you also don't have a weapon i think these guys are doing fire damage aren't they pretty sure they are ten temper 10 temporary hit points have become blessed Ooh, I have Sanctuary, too. I always forget about that. It's the most underrated spell in the game, probably. Or I could do a little Shield of Faith action, you know what I'm saying? It's not like I'm concentrating on anything else. Ah! 
better than punching with my hand, I guess. Tempest Cleric for the win. This is a long fight. I lose icons all the time. See you later, Ellie. Okay, finally, we can actually win this fight now. Raphael is no longer in his stupid form. He still has Punish Divinity, though. I wonder if... Man, I don't... That's crazy. After using this feature, he must consume from a soul pillar to do it again. So, actually, we should probably do a Radiant attack on him. Maybe like a Guiding Bolt or something with hope. And that might actually be pretty clutch. All right, still just don't know if I want to focus on Raphael right now, if I want to focus on the ads. Could do another illusory copy. Seven hundred HP. Actually, I think I'm actually going to go after Raphael right here. It's a nice little spread for my party here, so we don't take any AOE damage. I think you can have several of the illusory copies, so let's do that. Nice. Biatch. All right, hope. So I think I'm gonna use I'm gonna use a radiant spell on him right now. What does soul wrenched mean? Hold on. This creature cannot move or act, and Raphael can soul drain it at will. Honestly, it's just hope. You know what I'm saying? It's just hope. I just really need to get rid of that. I wonder if it's Soul Wrench, though. I wonder if he always has Punish Divinity. I'm worried that I'm going to use a Radiant spell, and then Soul Wrench can only be used once, but Punish Divinity is probably is going to always be active on him. I'm not entirely sure. Um, you know what? Let's, let's, you know what? Screw it. Hold on. Oh, you can't choose the items that you want to throw. Stupid opportunity attack. I'm testing it out. Screw it. Creature cannot move rack and Raphael can soul drain it at will. 12, 12, oh shit, that might have been really bad. Let's check Raphael's condition though. And he doesn't have Punish Divinity anymore. Perfect. Okay. It was worth it. Sacrifice hope for the greater good, right? Damn, why'd it have to be a critical hit? All right, Astarion, let's put on your offhand weapon. And hopefully that doesn't happen again. 81, 81, 19. Can I move up here? Quick. 70% chance. Let's go, baby. 
see ya. All right, all right. Things are looking more hopeful, if you ask me. 71, 100, 89. Let's go after this guy. Actually, I'm going to do it with, let's see, 70%. Let's go ahead and enable precision attack. Bump that up to like 90. Good stuff, folks. Good stuff. All right, Shadow Heart. Where's your weapon on the ground? Is that what I was using with Shadow? The rapier? Target can't be polymorphed. Does he get to do that three times? I thought he wouldn't be able to do that again. I think I'm screwed right now. I didn't think he was going to be able to do that again. That's insane. He gets... Soul Overcharge will not prevent him from using souls to cast spells. Gotta be kidding me, I'm just a little bit too short. Unbelievable. Really now? Now I don't have an angle? Are you serious? to start getting that down a little bit. Oh, crap. That's not what I meant to do.
I picked up that feet so I can shoot this guy right in his face. Watch this. Do an offhand shot first. Are you serious right now? Raphael's got high defense too, it's insane. I don't think that radiant damage is going to affect me anymore. Ooh, I have a haste spore grenade. I'm gonna have to use that here soon. front of me man pissing me off ninety percent with this advantage what do you think the chances of uh, all three hitting are ninety percent Should have missed he stepped out of that actually now that I think about it. Come on, Minthar, I just need you to survive a little bit. That's all I need.
Okay, here we go. Go ahead and take care of this guy real fast. 60% HP, do an offhand attack. Okay, I need one more attack. And I did two by accident. I thought I clicked offhand attack. Great shot, Astarion. Love you, buddy. Okay, so here we go. Now it's time to just kick some ass. I think we're good. Perhaps. Man, I wish I had, like, another spell that would, like, Otto's Irresistible Dance. 100% land ratio with that, but I don't have any more scrolls for that. Or like dominate monster or something. I think, I don't know if that would work or not. I think I had that with actually one of my items that I was wearing. Alright, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna... Why is it... I'm trying to figure out why I keep taking radiant damage. It... Don't know how much damage I'm gonna do. I should be fine with. You gotta be kidding me. Seriously? Shit, I don't want to like put her in an AoE area where everybody's gonna take damage. I think it's my only choice though. Take you. I cannot take much more of this. I mean, it's almost just Raphael. I've already chosen to fight the ads first for the most part, so I might as well continue doing that.
Okay, and then we're gonna also try to spread out a little bit. Oh, I don't have enough. Damn, this is risky. Very on super low on HP too. Shit, should have taken a potion. I'm gonna do it though. I'm gonna get away from Minthara. All right, let's see what you got for me. Biatch. Nice. God, spiritual weapon's so good if you can place it in a good spot. Don't do anything crazy. That was pretty crazy. Now it's time to just steamroll the straight up jabroni. You guys ready for this? We got plenty of spell slots. I got plenty of sorcery points. Let's go ahead and let's quicken. Hmm, are any of these? Oh, I could do thunder damage actually. It's just not as good as my. Funny because chromatic orb, seven to 56 damage. Okay, we'll do that. I just feel like my three Eldritch Blasts just like kind of come close to that. Not really, but kind of. Okay, spread out. All right, Minthara. 
25% chance right now because of the high AC. Oh. That'd be pretty sweet if I landed fairy fire on Raphael. That would actually be pretty epic. has one more soul charge ascended fiend um honestly i'm tempted to stay invisible here wait does drinking a potion take you out of invisibility does not perfect okay so starion's got 86 so let's do another one of those sometimes i get regular invisibility and greater invisibility mixed up because they're both a little bit different from one another Okay, I like it, I like it, I like it. I'm ready. I wonder if I can call on my ghouls with my main character. Honestly, this is actually going to be pretty funny. <laughs> Hold on, let me... Let's take... Um... Probably should have taken a potion, but actually, no, that's probably the smart move. Ready for battle. Okay, so let's go ahead and. Okay, we're looking pretty good with Minthara now. Um, it's probably gonna go over here. Oh, I can't even catch my breath. Yes. Let's start moving Minthara. A wise move. This way. Gonna dash. Okay, and Astarion's almost got full HP. So let's. Ian's got 30 HP right now.
I like it. I like it a lot. Now he's either going to come at a star or he's going to come at my character. So let's go ahead and... Could go invisible again. I'm not going to. Make a smaller health potion. We got a nice little setup going here now. Let's go. Should be able to hit him with my mace. Still 50% chance. That's insane. Increase your strength to 27. Holy crap. It gets us up to a 60% chance. Oh, that's great. Like high ground with a Starion. Yes, Oh, I have another scroll of invulner globe of invulnerability. I didn't realize that. I would have saved my ass earlier. Thought I only had one. That's ridiculous. Unleash me. Okay. 
better just to be a tank right now. Fifty-five percent chance on that? That's pretty sweet, actually. Nice. I haven't used that ability too much. We'll hold our ground right there. Drink a potion. Twenty percent chance with sharpshooter on. Insane. We're just gonna take it off. Let's finish this. Come on, let me examine him. What the hell, man? Sometimes it doesn't let you do it when you press T or when you right click. I seriously thought this stream was going to be over at like 5 o'clock. It's 7 o'clock right now and I have an entire sponsored video that I have to have done by tomorrow. That's great. Start moving a little bit closer here. Put it over here. Let me strike. <laughs> Nine percent chance. <laughs> Probably could use a scroll on him, but that's okay. I'm not too worried about this fight anymore, I don't think. Hello, Zedric. Congratulations. I'll catch up on the chat after this fight is over. In tense situations, though, it's tough to look at the chat and also try to remember what the hell I'm doing. I'm already making enough mistakes as it is. Oh, you can right-click the portrait in this game? Sweet, I didn't even know that. Alright, so... 49% chance, he's got 200 HP. I don't have any, like, scrolls of magic missile or anything, otherwise I would use them. Banishment, that'd be pretty funny, wouldn't it? Invalid target, though. Okay, not bad, not bad. Do 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 do. No. That wasn't very nice. That wasn't very nice, Mr. Raphael. You guys ready for this? This is going to be pretty funny.
your command. Oh, I broke the game. On your command. I mean, F5 in case. Uh oh, F5 is not working either. Thumb and scratch. Hey, Don, how you doing? I am on Eastern time. You have a date with Kazador, Ray? Nice, I respect it. All right, let's get Minthar up there for a couple melees. Let's go ahead and fly. God, the high defense is just so brutal. The hell is that? Oh, it's delayed, watch, it's gonna poof. I think, there it is. Nice, that was pretty good. Shadowheart's about to die. Talk to me. Or is she? all those ghouls some temp hp it wasn't much though but when you add it all up together all right shadow take a potion for me let's have you sip on a potion of superior healing i'm just gonna have you hold your ground look the ghouls are never gonna hit their shots Dude, that multi-attack is crazy. Fairy fire would be so nice on this guy. I feel like if you were just able to get off like a dominate monster or hold monster, whatever the hell the spell is, like this fight would be so much easier. Just get a bunch of crits on him and have him done in like three rounds. Welcome back, Oliver. I feel sane enough to look over at the chat now. Why is Minsk in this fight? <laughs> Oh, that's so funny that you noticed him on <laughs> Denim. Let's just say I transported his body here thinking that I might be able to animate the dead. But it didn't let me. And he says, playing my own game alongside this chat makes me feel like I'm at an old school LAN party. Missed those so much. Later game, the moves will delay after a bit. Also, I'm not the only one experiencing that. Yeah, I think the fight is over. I think I won. But damn, <laughs> I was scared for a little bit there. There's a few mechanics I don't quite understand yet in this fight. Let's go ahead and... Let's do a couple Elder Quests. Beautiful. We're going to leave Shadowheart dead on the ground. And Minthara, why don't you go ahead and get the killing blow, please? Or not. Critical hit with spiritual weapon. Let's go. Okay, get ready, guys. Well, let me save this right now, because we're about to have a cutscene. Raphael, dead. Old monster deletes Raphael. Yeah, man, I can... It's so crazy, like, how depending on, like, what scrolls and items you have and what party composition that you have, it can totally change how someone experiences a fight versus somebody else. Golf clap. No more devils. No more debts. With its master gone, the house is nothing more now than an empty carcass. Everything. Despite everything. <laughs> GG's, GG's. Wolf likes to create suspense. I 
I know hope is dead. You know, I did that experiment with her. I wanted to see what the radiant damage, so it is what it is, you know? Never Whatever. I was just using her anyways. It's not like I care. I would have preferred to keep her alive so I could have done the finishing blow on her myself, you know what I mean? Have a lot on Can't win them all, though. Wow, Corilla doesn't drop anything? Damn. Anything of use? Figured she'd have something on her. That is a really cool fight though. It is a it is probably Definitely one of the more difficult ones in the game, that's for sure. Poor Yurgir, I like that guy. He sacrificed himself for me. The Hellfire Hand Crossbow, which is probably the best hand crossbow in the game. Possibly inflict burning when hitting a creature with this weapon while hiding or invisible. You also get Scorching Ray. What now? And... Look at that. 4 to 21, or 9 to 26, 10 to 27. Get on my level. Kind of cool, too. Look at Astarion right now, dude. That is so sick looking. What is he wearing on his legs? some freaking leggings on or something, dude. Starion looks like a character out of a sci-fi game right now, doesn't he? Pretty sick. Alright, we gotta loot Raphael, too. Yes. Hold on. Here's Hope. I wonder if I can revive her. Cor we'll steal her stuff first, right? This is highly Please unlikely. Okay, it's not. It was worth a try, though. What happens if I give her a heal? Will it let me do that? Nope, she's dead. Can I animate her body at least to make use of it? Why would I waste that? What now? You know what I mean? Okay, alright. Looks like Hope is back. She's taking a different form, but that's okay. Can't give up now. No traps, please. <sighs> One day I'll catch a break. And Raphael. 160 gold. Arabella and Dry. That has good taste. Raphael's Diary, Chapter 1, 2, and 3. The Helldusk Armor. Legendary Heavy Armor. You are considered proficient with this armor while you wear it. Any character can wear this armor. You don't have to have proficiency with heavy armor, which is crazy. When you succeed a saving throw, the caster receives burning. You have resistance to fire damage and cannot be burned. You take three less damage from all sources. Pretty cool, right? Pretty damn cool. You know, Minthara, I was using the light armor. I should probably switch off that light armor with Minthara. Everybody runs from you when you have the aura of murder. Makes it really hard to get that uh, status effect. Reaper's Embrace. 26 AC with the Helldusk armor. Holy crap, that's awesome. Why am I wearing green boots? It's not what I want. Those are Gith Yankee boots. Bane Death, Bardic Inspiration. That's why I don't really have a lot of good boots right now. Okay, let's take a look at Raphael's diary. I'll read through those. These should be pretty interesting. One of the best fights. I also hope one of your guys' favorite missions. You can do a wield hand crossbows, Don. It can be really powerful. You take the sharpshooter feat, which is a solid plus 10 damage at a cost of a minus 5 to all of your attack rolls. You take the sharpshooter feat, every shot that you get gets that plus 10. So if you're just using a regular crossbow, a two-handed heavy crossbow or whatever, you only get plus 10 one time. You have the hand crossbows, both shots land, you get that plus 20. To make things even more sweet, you can play as a thief rogue, multi-class three levels. Then you get an extra bonus action. And if you're playing as a martial class, you also get action surge. So you can have four shots in one turn, not even including action surge. Or you also get extra attack is what I meant to say. But you can have four shots in one turn, which would be a plus 40 with sharpshooter damage. That's not including action surge, which could give you two more. And then you also might have like a potion of speed. It's pretty crazy. 
A chapter from a diary penned in Raphael's sub Sibaritic. I honestly don't never seen that word before. Hold on. Let's look it up. Luxury or pleasure, self-indulgent. Sibaritic. Sibaritic. Okay. All right. I like that word. I might have to use that later. Hey, hold on. Well, I have over many a sumptuous season cast the net of my contractual predilections both far and wide. Never have I been so attracted to mortals as I am to those infested by the tadpole. These particular fish find themselves plashing toward their doom, toward a steel hook unblemished by bait, how they resist the current, how inexorable its whelm, its tug, its dark undertow, at the other end of the fishing pole, the illithid, how their tentacles must quiver like cool jelly at the prospect of more catches, more and more each day along the troubled riverbank. This process has a name I sample now aloud, to savor its taste, Ceramorphosis. I shall make crafty use of this development. For with the hook linting and death so close, what could loom larger in the stricken fish's mind than the prospect of rescue? Chapter 2 Last night I dreamt of a river. Waist deep I waded it. Rusted hooks curled up from the water like the snaggled teeth of something ancient and diseased and submerged. The moon over the water cracked and fire flew out of the stubby wings of gormless and sanely chirping chicks. They transformed into wriggling oblongs like sperm, yet by the time they hit the water they were fish with scales of orange and gold. There came rushing a sound, the dark water ablaze as if the fish were matches, and the river a snake of oil. Approaching me out of the flames came the tadpole infested. There was one among, that, one among them who spoke for the rest. They gestured to the melting hooks, suddenly glanced my way, and in their face I saw they had the best of me. In waking, my courage has firmed. I progress my plans for the tadpole even now. I am Raphael. I am not easily bested. The plot thickens, goes the aphorism. Entirely inadequate. The plot mutates. It fluctuates. I have conceived no less than 13 variations by which I might seize the crown of Carsus. In the tumult of this eternally flowing river of schemes, I, the most careful of fishermen, finds his catch elusive and difficult to wrangle. Even in cooperation, such ambiguity and delicious surprise. But the hook has snagged, the doom of Ceramorphosis has abated, yet they could not predict. Could they? Could they? That in leaving behind the river, they have in fact welcomed the fishbowl. I am master here, a prince of bargains cloaked in cunning like Scarlet Satan. All that hidden under sublimely obvious truths cannot be discounted. So the fishermen reel, the tadpole are my catch. Struggle as they might, writhe as they wish, flop and squirm and thresh, with every ounce of strength, no matter. By all the reeking flames of hell, I will not be denied. On the moon. All's well that ends. Not as bad as it could have. Can I go use that fountain real fast? Hope I didn't leave anything in here, did I? Nope, we looted that guy, we looted that guy. Is there a chest around here? Oh, gotta pick up my uh, dropped rapier, which is one of the best rapiers in the game that we found in the sewers. I should animate Corilla too, right? Check out this rapier, folks. 5 to 15 damage. Attack rolls with this weapon have advantage against undead. It's actually pretty sweet. God, man, look how cool my characters look right now. This is insane. Everybody's looking so badass. Times. Wits and blades always sharp. You gotta change Astarion's chest armor. Doesn't look that good. The Githyanki armor is one of my least favorite Our design styles. Everywhere. I don't know about you guys. Devil's lair. Risk mind, limb, and freedom. All to steal the Orphic Hammer. Uh oh. I hope your ambitions end there. I have already told you that the Githyanki Prince only wants to see you dead. But it seems you still do not trust me. Not even a little bit. You are falling into the same trap as the Chosen. Their distrust of one another is their undoing. 
We must not make the same mistake. We must work together. I never asked to be stuck with you. I could say the same of you. Nonetheless, our fates are bound. And in the absence of a happier union, I will accept a useful one. You may think yourself ingenious for having slain a devil, but you have merely ironed out a winkle. The Elder Brain will not be such an easy foe. It is time we resume our journey to find it. There we go. Much, much better. 21 AC. Look at Astarion, dude. That is sick. We gotta go to camp and take a look at all this, but first... Oh, damn. I'm almost dead right now. By my oath. Gotta go downstairs and at not give bidding. Helsic the gauntlets that she requested. <laughs> what happened to the chick in the artifact? The chick in the artifact is the mind flare that you hear talking, the male voice. Trips to the hells are usually one way, especially when the traveler causes the kind of trouble you did. I knew you were a thief, didn't realize you were a killer. Raphael's death is already causing quite a stir across the hells. It's a rare thing for a mortal to slay a devil of his stature. In all the excitement, I hope you didn't forget our bargain. Do you have the gauntlets? Fight her. Give them to her, she'll sell them back to you. What kind of player do you think I am? You think I'm here to make a fair deal? No, I don't have them. I should be talking with my main character. This will be quite easy. That invalidates our deal, I'm afraid. I fulfilled my part of the bargain, so you owe me the fee I proposed initially. I just killed the devil in his own home. You really don't want to test my patience. Not a subtle point, but well made. Damn straight. Keep the gauntlets. Your threats aren't necessary, but your coin is still welcome, Devil Slayer. <laughs> Give her the gauntlets and buy them back. Are you kidding me right now? Are you kidding me? Dude, Raphael's mission. This is like such a big power boost for Act 3. Probably try doing this mission as early as you possibly can. Although if you're not max level, that just makes it even more difficult. Right, let's go to camp because there's probably some stuff that we got to talk about going on there. The gear in the House of Hope is just so good. Let's move. With haste. That's the last of Raphael. I'll be glad to no longer have to suffer his smug face. Fine. What's on your mind? How are you holding up? You're someone I can actually turn to when I don't. Oh my god. Oh my. Manthara's wearing a G string. I thought she was butt naked for a second. Why even wear underwear at that point? You know what I'm saying? We are unstoppable. I feel like we could conquer the hells. Aw, oh, Minthara doesn't have a Raphael comment. <laughs> Everybody's butt naked at my camp. Elson is hung like a tic tac. <laughs> Minthara looks sick in Hell Dusk. True. Looks even better without it on, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> to 
defeating a devil in his own home feels very, very good, actually. Ah, oh, Raphael, no comment from Astarion? Dame Aelin's just hanging out in my camp even though I murdered her earlier. She just comes back to hang out. Come to bask in the glow of the moon. I guess we're keeping her around. Um, it'll be interesting to see if there's another chance to betray her. All right, well, that's going to be it. That was the end of the... quest. For now. Hope perished. We were unable to save her. Well, boo-hoo. I got my gear and we got out. We defeated Raphael, can leave the House of Hope. We should wait for our next opportunity to enter the Astral Prism and free Orpheus. I can't remember when that opportunity comes. But I'm happy that I was able to get through the entire House of Hope in one stream, unlike last time, so... No network problems tonight. So you guys have a wonderful Sunday night. I appreciate all the viewers over on Twitch. You guys certainly boosted up my average concurrent viewership. Quite a lot. And uh, for streams for this week, I guess I'll just keep pushing on with the evil playthrough. Thank you guys for all the tier one subs, the gifted subs, the gifted memberships. I appreciate it. Mitch, thank you for the 50. Arawani, thank you for the five. Tier one, gifted. Mitch, thanks for the 10. Georgie, thank you for the gifted and also the 10. Do, 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 do. Shy, thank you very much. And to be continued. I appreciate it. I still don't know how to raid over on Twitch, so we're not doing that. <laughs> I don't see anybody on YouTube either, so... Good night. See a fire and goodbye, Shy. Thank you, you. Trying to see what chat I missed during the Raphael fight. Some of you guys are probably yelling at me. Guy says I adored Damon even before he came. He became an important NPC. I like that guy too. Honest working tiefling, you know what I mean? Auto says I started playing when I was going through a severe life threatening illness. The game was sort of there for me. That absolutely makes sense. I've heard a couple other people have similar comments to that too. Hope things are getting better for you. Till next time, Canny. Good night, Cassie. Good night, Teresa. Good night, Georgie. Hugh. Meredy. L. Mike. X. You find a star and some better underwear. <laughs> nice. Hey, I don't control a star yet. See a red. Really shot my voice for that video recording that I'm supposed to do tonight. <laughs> How long was this stream? Oh my god, I streamed for five hours. Almost five hours? I literally thought I was going to be streaming for two max. Raphael fight kicked my ass. Next time you want to raid, you do you do slash raid in their username. Okay, all right. I want to raid one of you guys. I don't want to raid just somebody random. I don't have any Twitch friends. What if I did slash ra raid... Shy Violet, what would it do when you're not live right now? Let's try. <laughs> Invalid username? 
Maybe it's because you're not live. Must have to raid somebody that's live. Or I'm doing it wrong. Not sure. Thanks, Georgie. Good night, John. Hey, thanks for the follow. Woodland. 